Okay, kids, we're live. Uh, welcome. It's a new Monday, new day. I uh, got some new Kleenex in, so I'm just filing them away. I got a spot under my desk here. And so Sue said she's, because she's organizing the uh, laundry room. I'm feeling uh, 500 bucks lighter already. Listen, you son of a bitch. Sick and tired of all this trouble. Uh, we got trouble right here in Central City. All right, River City. Is it River City? I got, Rachel's got some new things. Uh, no, it's just a clean a box of Kleenex. Eh? We're being brought to you by Mazzy. Holy smokes. Good to see everybody. Welcome to the show. Uh, great show yesterday. Uh, of course, I played through uh, three more. Uh, the Rock is a pretty good wrestler. Paul Brake. Paul Brake. Paul Break sounds like a like a detective name, are you or like a lawyer or something? Are you a lawyer, Paul? Let's. Uh, I gotta go to my show. Don't time Paul Drake breakout. Paul, Paul Break. Break out. Hold on, Rachel. Shush. Quiet you. Let's go take a look and see what's happening on the on the Break uh, channel. And uh, we'll find, we'll learn about our new friend. Paul Brake. Where is he gone now? I don't even see him here. He must be somebody else. I can't even see Paul Brake. Paul, Bra <laughs> Paul Brake, say something again. Here's Paul Brake. See, he's there. I can't even, I don't even see him in my, Paul Brake is not showing up at all. An early morning wrenching summer. I'm trying, I can't even see him. Is he somebody I blocked? Ugh. I don't know, man. I don't even see a Paul Break. Is Paul Break broken? I can't see him. Can anybody see Paul Break? Look at here's Paul Break, but he's not. I can't find him when I go to the chat and I'm scrolling to look for Paul Break. He's not even there. Okay, where's his comment? Let me follow the comment. Don't type anything. Brad, you Rich has got some new toys. Then Paul Break came in. Then it goes, good morning, Rachel from Plastic Sandwich. So now i got to go Paul Break. Uh, Rachel's got some new toys. Paul Break broke. He's a real boy. Yeah, but hang on. Okay, Rachel got new toys. Then it goes to Plastic Sandwich called, there is no Paul Break. Paul Break, you, uh, he joined, so, uh, rock is weak like little baby, but what the hell? Listen, I'm so sorry, Paul Brake, but I'm not able to see you. He retracted it? Paul Brake! <laughs> yeah, but he's retracted himself. I can't even see the comment at all, like in the other thing. The Rock is a pretty good wrestler. That's all I got. And then he's just gone. He's just disappeared. <laughs> Sabotaged him out. Yeah, but I don't even have... He's not... He's not even showing up. Like, he's invisible, man. I'm sorry, Paul Break. I love you, Paul Break, but I guess this is the end of you here on this uh, TV show. Sabotaged him out for three years. Well, we'll see in three years, Paul Break. I'm so sorry it didn't happen. He got scared. He, anyway, he did. He came up and he said his thing, and now he's gone forever. He could have been our new asbestos pal ever, and now he's gone. Oh, well, sorry, Paul Break. I, you were loved while you were here, and you got a friendly face, and it looks like you read a book or something. Uh, I've been lost due to trigger happy penis. It wasn't even that. I don't even know what the hell happened there. I just even, but I couldn't even see him. Usually it'll give me an announcement saying, okay, so-and-so's been timed out, and then I can still go in there and wrench them up, and they're in good standing, and, you know, this too shall pass, but that's the end of it. Okay, Sava, let's back it up there, Buttercup. If you can't handle uh, classic rock and roll, this is the new gold gold uh, presentation, 50th anniversary. We watched a couple of uh, uh, ACDC rock videos last night, too, Sue and I did. And look, at it's embossed. The Canon has embossed wheel, just like the original, and ACDC's embossed. They really spared... No expense with this presentation. Absolutely wonderful. I remember Gershowitz vouched for me uh, my first day here. I would have been uh, timed out otherwise. Well, we love Marvin. Sadly gone. The mysterious disappearance of Paul Brake. Sounds like a great uh, afternoon special or something like that. 
Uh, Ingroove is a tourist attraction, like the new tour video from him. It's a must see. Oh, that's really good. I love Mike. Big, we love Mike Esposito here. If I could time you out, Rich, I would. Oh, Sava, you talk pretty mighty. Look out, be careful there. We got just, just time your ass right the hell out. I've got that power. I'm a super wrencher. Uh, this is the Rachel's Ghost TV show. Welcome to it. We can talk about rock and roll and records here. Today's episode is entitled, You Know I Like Rock. You say it like that. It's got to be the, the line is delivered in this manner. You know I like rock. Okay, that's how you do it. Very exciting. Folks, we got a Patreon. I want to direct your attention to the Patreon. Better get the banner up. Boom, there it is down below. You can also uh, support the channel through uh, uh, individual uh, charitable donations because I'm a charity case. My God. These things don't pay for themselves, you know. Anyway, uh, it's fantastic. So I played through three of those yesterday. Sue's got a super wrench. She does indeed. Is that the Sterling Sound Mastering, Rachel, by Wes Garland? It's Sterling Sound, but it's uh, Dan, Mar it, George, Dan Marino. It's uh, George Marino. George Marino, the late George Marino, passed away in 2012, but they are Sterling Sound Masters. That's true. Uh, that is very true. So I woke up uh, watching, uh, watching the events and uh, develop unfold in the Ukraine. Very interesting. The Ukrainians uh, attacking a nuclear power plant seems like a little, little bit much, but whatever. You got to do what you got to do. We got ACDC, the debut here. Look at that. This started it all. I can't show you the dead wax, man. Uh, I'll take. I'll tell you what. I'll read it to you. I'll read some of it to you. But yeah, this set is uh, Sterling Sound. Uh, that's the B side. This is the A side. The A side actually goes like this. Uh, Rachel, have you ever fixed a warp record? No. Uh, you know who who's done it is uh, PB Thel. He and some of the other guys do. They have these uh, record flatteners. This these babies are all pristine. Look at that. Okay, so Deadway, you want that dead wax, eh? Little Goldilocks there, looky deal. All right. Oh, this is very faint. This one. Holy shit! Where's the dead? Where's the where's the magic weights? Come on, where are you, hot stamper? <laughs> it's got to be in there somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. Boy, oh boy. Reading on gold. This is an E at E. Oh, what the hell? E. E80208 A. RJ Sterling 1. RJ. So it's an RJ. Whoever, whatever, whoever RJ is. What did Loki say up ahead? Uh, West Garland. I got an RJ written here. Could be RL. <laughs> anyway, RJ Sterling, but it's definitely Sterling Sound. But the uh, the writing on the uh, on the record that comes with it, et cetera, et cetera. You know, in the writing and the in the liner notes identifies uh, George Marino on all of these as the mastering engineer. Uh, the 10 second, I don't like humiliation uh, <laughs> other than what occurs daily on this show. Uh, Rachel, do you like rock? Yes, uh, Jose. Jose, my good friend Nathaniel, who's got a great channel, he loves you so much. He just says you're so good looking and he's absolutely right about it. I love Let There Be Rock was the first ACDC album I got. Uh, well, it's a great one. E804, RE2, WG, NRP, Sterling. No, it's an RJ. I got an RJ on here. RJ, Loki. Uh, more expensive. The regular already print ones are done by Marino. You son of a bitch. Listen, they're Marino, all right? Uh, raining madly in South Africa right now. Uh, anybody here lament the, uh, I was watching Mark Dice, a great conservative commentator, commenter. Uh, AJK said I was ugly, Rachel, so I must be very, very, very horrible. Well, AJK is very sensitive. He's going through a hard time right now. 
and we just love them and we send our our, our love and hugs out to them and all that kind of thing. You know, he gets, you know, not everybody can handle the uh, the forces and negativity that occur in the vinyl community to the extent we're able to here. And because uh, I don't give a fuck, but uh, some people do. And I, I just, you know, uh, I, 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 my compassion goes to those people. They're more sensitive, right? And uh, you have to have a, a pretty thick skin to survive around here. Or, you know, you, the, there are trolls. It's the internet. It's a big white unwashed. You know, anything could happen. Is AGK getting fed up with this? Yeah, he is. He, he, yeah, he is. He sent a mess. Sue inquired. We were both concerned about him. Sue and I, we hadn't heard from him. And uh, he is, he's given us permission to explain a little bit about what's going on. It's a community thing. We are a community, however loosely associated. And even on my uh, description, I don't like to see the door. Kind of, that's the door to come in. I like that's better. Show's being brought to you by Norman Masloff, ladies and gentlemen. I'm listening to Hot in the Shade by Kiss right now. Well, Arnie, shouldn't you be listening to Rachel Coast TV show? Watching Rachel and having giggles. Jose, thanks for your take on Dylan last night. Dylan and Noble Records. Uh, across the room for me. Rachel lies. Loki, I will kick your ass. I will just absolutely kick your ass. Uh, so, Jose, no, you're not ugly at all. Uh, he's just on another two-year break. Well, anyway, the point is we should have compassion where it's required, right? I think that's important. Uh, Mercy, speaking of compassion, Mercy, I have some sad news to pass on to the vinyl community. It concerns us all. Again, we're this loosely associated uh, community. But uh, two days ago, our friend uh, D. Walrus, um, I announced it in the Patreon last night. I want to do a little appeal, a little advertisement for the Patreon. But uh, two days ago, we lost at 5.40 p.m. Uh, D. Walrus passed away. And uh, we wish his partner, Jesse, every comfort. And, uh, and obviously, I mean, the most uh, serious and, and uh, uh, you know, critical uh, situations possible. And that's the end of a life. And uh, he was such a, a, a great support of this channel, DW, and uh, the sweetest guy. And uh, we care about him. And uh, so for his family uh, and uh, his loved ones, we, we wish every comfort. So DW has, in fact, passed away and uh, 540 uh, two days ago. So there you go. Uh, I, I think I, we should announce it here because he was part of our uh, group here, right? Uh, De Walrus. So there's that. Um, and Jesse, if you're watching or if you hear about this, if this somehow gets back to you, our condolences to you, and uh, we wish you every comfort, even when, uh, and the, the real thing is, is when you go through this, is, uh, it seems like there's no comfort to be found. Uh, just remember those, the memories and what a sweet human that guy was. He made the planet a better place by virtue of his being part of it, sending out positive energy uh, to all of us around him. Boy, he was a, a very positive force for good. Yeah, we all miss D. Walsh, such cheer. And of course, Massey met him a couple of times. Yeah, there was. That was by Mazzy. Uh, Mazzy just misunderstood what the situation was at that time. But uh, Sue, in fact, heard from his partner, Jesse. And she conveyed uh, the situation to Sue. So rest in peace, uh, Daniel. Yeah, really good guy. All right. Well, on a much lighter note, um, we got this crazy show. We got a Patreon and you can support us financially that way. Um, and there are some extra things. As I, there is one little video. We do a couple of live streams a week. And then I did a, a kind of a little thing yesterday I put up available only uh, exclusively to the Patreon crowd. So if you're interested in doing that for as low as like um, a dollar USD a month, which isn't asking a lot, uh, you can support. Because, you know, I'm in here every day doing this thing. So, um, you know, I, I leave it up to your good discretion. But I might as well get a link for the, the place for you all. And uh, I got to, in fact, I got to head over there myself, I think, to get it. Yeah. 
All right, so here is the page itself. Do you know there's actually a Discord over there built into it? I didn't know that. I want to rock. Who's your favorite rock band? Do you like, when it comes to rock, Jose, who do you like to rock to? There's a few rocking bands I like that, you know, if I want to blast away the clouds, all right? Kiss is a, a great uh, rock band. Alice Cooper is a great rock band. That five, the original five, although I got, I got a fairly decent Alice Cooper collection. It's kind of funny. Uh, not so much the, I have a very poor Alice solo collection, I think I got four solo Alice Cooper records and all early, all 70s up to about 1980, 81. Uh, but then, you know, the uh, the rest of it is all there. Yeah. So here's the link to the Patreon uh, for as little as a dollar uh, a month. You can support me. Uh, so that is appreciated. That is appreciated. All adds up, right? All right. Uh, don't let anyone else in the Patreon. It's too much fun as it is. More people come in, I will lose my position of influence. I don't think you'll ever lose your position of influence, Loki. You do really good. Um, yeah, okay, so this eclipse. I don't know where the rumors started that it's like some sort of apocalyptic end of the world business. It's like, it's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Uh, there's no, I mean, unless you're an Aztec, in which case, okay, maybe it's the end of the world. Um so as to say, you've only got five more slots and they're selling out fast. Well, I don't do that because that wouldn't be true, would it? I just say, hey, I appreciate the uh, financial support, you know, and it, it, it kind of begins and ends all with that. So ACDC is another band I like to rock out to. April Wine is a good rock band. And in fact, uh, the story I like to tell about April Wine, I saw them uh, in eight, 1984 uh, Rachel, it's weird that you're not believing a conspiracy. Well, I don't believe every conspiracy. I don't believe the we did not go to the moon conspiracy. For a, a conspiracy to work, to, for a conspiracy to be worth its weight in gold, there has to be a subsequent uh, action, reaction. So, for example, my conspiracy says there was no ma weapons of mass destruction in Iraq when uh, America invaded in 1991. Turns out I was right. Turns out I was right about that conspiracy. But, you know, if I had, if at that time in 1991, if you said there's no weapons of mass, you're lying to us, George Bush. Uh, you know, those uh, Republicans would have had our asses in a sling. So um, that's the deal. I believe in Sasquatch. See, that's one I don't buy. I don't believe in the Sasquatch. Don't believe in Sasquatch. Just believe in me, Yoko and me. Because uh, I was had a signed Bonnie Tyler on eBay. Holy smokes. Uh, yeah, you're going to be sad. When, look, really? Full, that's so true, Chris. This is my fear. Uh, this afternoon at noon might still be the nuclear morning. Holy smokes. There's got to be a morning after... Uh, I think the, those were weapons of mass, but to show them would have shown where they came from. No, nah, there were none. And uh, they had all the photos of the thing with the UN and everything. No, it was all an excuse to go destabilize the Middle East. It, they kneecapped Iraq and Iran rose up as the power in the region. And uh, things have not been the same since. Uh, yeah, when 1991, I was young and skinny. Trump was Trump was skinny then too, and Biden was just an elderly. He was elderly back then. May as well they're turning the frogs frogs gay. Well, that's not a conspiracy. That that's also been proven because of the chemicals. You know, there's estrogen. Like some of the they have estrogen like properties in a lot of our plastics and soy. A lot of products they actually have a molecule that emulates estrogen. So that's not, that's not uh, fiction. That's not a conspiracy that can, that there's some evidential, uh, uh, you know, um, examples that can be provided. Uh, the frogs are all gay. Now, well, there's a the problem, right? See, when you go all gay, that's where the problem lies. Not all gay. Uh, Rachel, you believe the frogs are turning gay? I believe that, uh, 
the frogs are having their uh, normal sexual development. Some frogs, some frogs are having their normal sexual development inhibited as a result of industrial pollution. Okay. Rush was an advanced prog rock band. I know you're a fan. Yeah, Rush is great, but Rush isn't a rock out band. They aren't, yeah, I don't rock out to them. Uh, the Eclipse turned me a set back into a boy cat. That's a kind of a strange thing, but I love it. But I thought pollution, pollution does matter. It's how we combat it and how our governments for example, here's where it's a problem, but I thought pollution doesn't matter. So our government says you're going to save the planet if you recycle and separate your plastics and your uh, garbage, your compost has got to go in a compost bin, your garbage, your vegetables go in the compost, and then you put your plastics. Now, that was the case in Sydney, British Columbia. It was also the case in Victoria, British Columbia, where I previously lived. In my new location on the same fucking island, they don't have any of that. They have some of it. They have separate your plastics. What they don't have is composting. So my garbage, which I was carefully composting, saving the planet. That's the conspiracy. Uh, it all goes in the same place now. And then Canada got caught. Shipping all our garbage, our recyclables, off to fucking the Philippines. And the Philippines said, fuck that, and they sent it back. They sent it back. Uh, I don't believe that burrow owls live in holes in the ground. Burrow owls. Yeah, I don't know enough about that species. You know, I'm not a, what do you call a bird expert, an avianologist, something like that. Austin gave me a compost cart. I used it to make my own compost, the Black Soldier Fly Colony. Fantastic. I love that. So, you know, there's a lot of, there's an element like uh, John F. Kennedy. You think uh, he was just, uh, you know, Jack Ruby, a patriot, decides to kill Lee Harvey Oswald in a spontaneous burst of nationalistic fervor. If you believe that, Rachel, has estrogen made you gay? Yes, it has. I have two pugs. Pretty sure they communicate with the mothership daily. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I love that idea. Um, okay, uh, Rachel, tell Bill K not to make gay jokes about me and beg, especially when Frederick is around. It's pejorative. It's a negative. It's a put down. <clears throat> I'm worried the eclipse might turn me Belgian. Are you a frog? That's some mean way to talk to somebody with French ancestry, I'll tell you that much. So, uh, no, but, you know, here's the thing, right? When we do, you know, uh, like sublime to the ridiculous, right? When you talk about a frog, are you a frog? You know, like are, you're human, a frog, what's the difference? Uh, but the, remember that we do operations and testing on uh, lab mice and rats and pigs and this sort of thing. Because they're also, you know, creatures that have some similarities to humans. And so we use them as a proxy uh, in, uh, in the studying. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not that keen on that. I don't think a little, I'm very, I'm a kind of sensitive, but I understand some benefits come from this kind of research. But still, you know, I'm kind of a softy that way. I love the little animals, especially the little fur-bearing characters. And I love the domesticated ones. Like, you know, the rat, you know, I watch all these videos on the Instagram, the reels, and then YouTube. There's cute little things. I like human characteristics in animals. Yeah, but you don't, you know, there's a balance. Even with that, there's a balance, you know. Because uh, you don't want too much. If it gets too, it's, It gets weird, you know. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. Okay. So you get, have you heard about this? I'm going to share now, but if you're squeamish, please be very cautious. But look, you hear this, you see the shocking truth about human face fish. There's a, you gotta listen to him, a little fish face guy. Here's an a fish in the shape of a human. There he is there with questions. 
This one's got teeth. This one's just feeding on feet. Look at this guy. He's very curious with a big head. Okay, he's very smart. Here's another guy, one with the little people. It's like a, a little old man's face and stuff. So this, look at that guy. The mysterious face with fish and face. So they're out there. This is how they start out. Look at this guy's got teeth and everything. I don't know the purpose of this. Anyway, I don't want to go with the naked bum people. But you know what I'm saying. There's uh, there's fish here. Fish faces there. Look at this guy coming here. This one here. Wow. Look at that. Wow. So as you can see, it's quite a serious situation. Massey rebrand, possibly. I don't know. It's horrific, yes. Uh, yeah, we got Massey. You should do a Spoonville start looking straight up at the camera. Does that look like some sort of scrotum or something? Rachel, all this is fake as fuck. Listen, the fish have faces, human faces. Yeah, I know some of it, CGI. I know it is. That's all right, Jose. Uh, four horses in the backyard. Is that AGK? That's hurtful. I like animal characteristics in humans. We have some of that, too. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is the nature of it. I mean, what an inquisitive, beautifully inquisitive uh, gallery we have here today, the Phoenix Gallery. Uh, you kids are fantastic. Um, but once again, let's uh, drop that out. I'm, I'm doing a commercial for some... Uh, some more Patreons, so let's expand the parameters. Uh, and uh, all your support is warmly welcome. Like I say, uh, it's as little as a dollar. You can give more if you like, if you're uh, uh, if that uh, you're, that can be afforded. Obviously, you know, don't give anything if you can't afford it. But this is for people that have, oh, yeah, I can throw a buck your way. You know? Anyway, what did the fisherman say the magician? Pick a cod, any cod. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. So talking about rock today, Jose, did you answer my question about what you like for rock? Uh, who do you, what, who's your favorite, quote, rock band? Like, it's just rock. None of your, you know, crazy, oh, this has got the ambient sounds of a pigeon squirt. You know, and none of that. I'm talking about just straight out, this is a headbanger. This guy's clapping on the drums. The other, you know, she's rocking on the axe on her guitar, you know. Rich, I'm in financial run and I still donate. Brad, I gotta believe it. When, when, if it doesn't hurt when you give, it doesn't mean anything. The Who rocks out. Yeah, the Who are a great rock band. Uh, it won't get fooled again. Is fantastic. Well, and oh, I can't explain. So simple, right? Three chords of the truth. Bat, bana, bat, bana. Fantastic. There you go. I'm all happy. You do that and you're rocking out. You got some good sound. So, yeah, the Who are a great, quote, rock band. Uh, but there are some bands that really rock out. Alice Cooper, I'm 18 and I don't know what I want. 18. Boom, boom, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -da -da. Incredible. I love that. Zeppelin. Yeah. Holy shit. Zeppelin, you love, you talk about rock Zeppelin. Come on. Wow. Walk into the other day, baby. What do you what do you think I saw? Boom, boom, boom. Oh man, bottom on that? Incredible. Uh, so yeah, Zeppelin, obviously one of the great rock bands of all time. Status quo's Caroline is a rocker. Neil Young rocks. Holy shit. Bill, I was in a store record store and they were playing Neil Young, early Neil Young. Like, uh, what is this? Uh, you know, so this is still nowhere. <laughs> let me get, let me go to my collection. Neil Young. I got the album. You know, the one with Cinnamon Girl on it. I want to live with a Cinnamon Girl. I could be happy the rest of my life with my Cinnamon Girl. Da -da 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 -da. Everyone knows this is nowhere, I think is what it is. 
Yeah, Neil, you're, Neil Young with Crazy Horse. Everybody knows this is nowhere. And so it's got the immortal uh, Cinnamon Girl on there. Holy shit. Down by the river? I shot my baby? I got a Pittman pressing on this. W7 label gatefold. 1969, first press. Cowgirl in the sand. Like a cowgirl in the sand. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't like cinnamon swirls. Cinnamon tastes funny. I like cinnamon, man. That's uh best New York, al uh, Neil Young album. New York, I see him. Why I go New York. Yeah, Neil Young album, in my opinion. Cowgirl in the sand, great song. Yeah. Everybody knows there's nowhere. Absolutely. Hawkwin, I don't know enough about Hawkwin to know what the hell's going on with them. I know Lemmy, Lemmy Winks was in there. Uh, Kill my stew. Rich, have you been drinking this Elk's Blood energy drink? No. The Who's my favorite. I didn't realize my OG copy of The Who Sings. My generation of Canadian OG until I put in Discogs yesterday. Black Label on DECA. Danny Witten's on that. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. How you broke my heart. Fantastic song. The late Danny Witten. And, of course, that's part of the inspiration for Tonight, Tonight. Tonight, tonight, Bruce Berry was a working man. He drove that Econoline van. So, yeah, that's incredible. I love that. I love the whole thing about tonight's night. Talked about it on the show before. 1973, Neil's depressed. Bruce Berry is roadie, the uh, younger brother of Jan Berry, of Dan and Dean fame. You know, sir, we're going to serve city because of 201. You know, we're going to serve city, going to have some fun. Two girls for every boy. Ba, 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 ba. You know, it's a great song. So his brother, and he's a musician. He'd stay up late playing guitar after the band had gone and cleared the stage or the studio. And he'd be there at the roadie, and he'd pick up a guitar and sing a song or two. And uh, anyway, he ODs. Heroin, horrible. And then we also, uh, at the same time, Danny Witten goes, within a short period of framework, you know, within months of each or both these guys go, impacts Neil uh, dramatically, gets, you know, needle and the damage done. He's all beat up about it emotionally. He's a wreck. He's drinking hard and he's touring. He's out on the road because he's got to work out his sorrow. And so he's out there slamming and drinking. And the cover of tonight's tonight, there's Neil. His hair's all over the place, got the beard going, and he's just fucked up. And people were booing him, and they're giving him a hard time on that tour because they go, people watching Neil would kind of come out, and he's fried out, he, you know, tonight, tonight. Everybody wants, you know, I've been searching for a heart of gold. Everybody wants that. It's these expressions, you know, and they all want that. Rachel, did you get? Yeah, I got every single one that's available. Boom. Uh, I've been putting them away as I get them. So I still got to listen to this. I just picked up a Canadian first pressing. I will compare. I will compare. These are George Marino cuts. Here's the first one. Start all in uh, North America. I love the packaging with the stars on it, like the, the stickers. They got these all over them. Holy shit. It looks amazing. All on gold. All on gold. I got this. I got another uh, live album from ACDC. This, but this is part of the set. I just knew that I'd kick myself if I didn't get the whole set. And I said, no, I'm, it's going to eat at me. I'll want this. Dirty deeds and the dumb dirt cheap. Uh, highway to hell. Also, I got a reissue of this already. So I got this. Boom. So. Highway to Hell. Isn't that what an album cover? Uh, obviously, the most iconic of all the ACDC covers. I love Bond. He's so happy or just leaning in, just laughing at the whole thing. I love it. I just love it. And then uh, Power Age. Malcolm, uh, the late uh, Malcolm Young, uh, Angus. You know, Malcolm's the leader of the band. A lot of people don't know that. They think the kid with the horns, the icon that is Angus Young. Is the leader of the band. He wasn't Malcolm's the leader. And again, look at this branding here like this. 
And if you did miss yesterday's show, shame on you. Just something people like to say when people miss a show. I'll open this up just to show you kind of the presentation. Boom, boom, boom. TNT. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, so each one comes with the liner notes, each one with a lot of pictures, rock and roll, the young Angus giving her. There's Bond giving her. A uh, Scottish kid raised in uh, Australia. Your park doesn't compost? No. Well, we got a compost, but we you don't have to put your... Uh, there's no... Uh, no, kitchen there's no compost in. Uh, it's for the it's kitchen scraps of composting. It's kitchen scrap. They don't do kitchen scrap composting. You throw them in garbage. ACDC, Powerage. Boom. And then each one, this is generic. This Every album you get has the same. But And then you got the same outside with the lightning bolt, the whole thing. But, um, you know, there you go. Each album is uh, represented. What does PB, PB Thal, he'll probably say they aren't the best. He'll, uh, you know, I don't know whether he'll go queen box at level disappointment on me. I know the Hoffman forums say that they should have gone with the Australian Masters for the most part. I think one of them, and I'm not sure which one, whether it was black and back and black, but the UK first press is the one to get. They sound good to me. Uh, how is the sound on the AC? I like it. They sound great. The vinyl is dead quiet. The vinyl, this gold vinyl is dead quiet. This is really good. And I'm really happy to have this. Uh, collection in you know as part of my own arsenal of rock and roll and acd is one of those bands you can just absolutely rock out to and you, you listen to those guys they're like your classic band they've got a lot of um uh blues based rock you know dun, 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 you know so a screaming electric guitar electric blues really good stuff so, and I've been playing them a little bit with a Brian Johnson album. I'll play a Brian Johnson heavy album, and then we'll go into Bon Scott and flip back and forth. As I said earlier, ACDC sounds best at cassette, blast, and car stereo, blown out speakers. Yeah, they're the, the, sure, of course, I get that. <laughs> I bought the nine inch nails from Walmart yesterday, 18 bucks. Sounds amazing. Yeah, Walmart's got contract in with a lot of, uh, bands and and special editions and pressing etc I, I don't worry or care what people say about the sound of records i'm spending my money not theirs yeah it's uh, totally you know man i'm happy with the set i'm happy with it it's good enough for me man you know i've got a nice system here i rock a good system right there's some money in here but the point is uh uh, I don't care. Like, you know, I like, there's some stuff I've got beautiful. Mike Oldfield, absolutely beautiful instrumentation, classical tinged stuff, you know, with the delicacy of sound, the delicate sound of thunder. Uh, okay. Where has tight Fonchi Ponch been? I have no freaking idea yeah. where Fonchi Ponch has been. We'll have to reach out to him on his channel. I don't know where he is. Uh, I love, you know, going to the record store is a lot of fun. I enjoy it. But uh, I feel the sound is great. I feel the the sound is just fine. What did you think, Sue? You fantastic. heard him. Oh, it's fantastic. We, so we like it. You know, so it's good. great. Uh, Walmart is the place where I go to discover exciting new bands, Bon Jovi, Metallica. I remember uh, John Bond's album, uh, the self-titled debut. That used to be out on the stands all the time. And I used to look at it because, you know, the picture of John standing in the street there. And you, I was kind of tempted to get it. Never did. Never did. But I remember watching. I said, that's kind of interesting. And it and it got a lot of uh, rack space. It was in, a, in the stands a lot. I see it a lot back in the day. Do we need to do a memoriam for Marvin? No, Marvin reached out to us about a month ago. He just has no money. The poor guy is uh, hard pressed for every nickel. He doesn't have internet, any dependable internet at all. And so he's just out doing his thing. 
Uh, William's uh, troll stream must have destroyed his will to continue like me. Huh? Uh, I miss the days of the channel being monetized. Respect the Dono. Yeah, well, that's why I appeal for support of Patreon, where this is an unmonetized channel, demonetized. We can't check into StreamYard tipping. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Tip. Anthony's told yeah. us about that. Yeah. Well, I, that was yeah. in your hands, doctor. I know. It's Make that happen. Let's. Right. Let's do something that way. Yeah, the donos are a lot of fun, you know, because you can make a bit of a, a entertainment, a show around them a little bit. Uh, bon Jovi sucks so hard. I don't know. Like, living on a prayer was a lot of fun. The guy was so cute. Like, he's a good-looking guy. and uh, But living on a prayer was really good. You give love a bad name. That was a lot of fun. Uh, best on your system, acoustic or electric. I th- if to show it off, I think I, I like stuff like Simon and Garfunkel really shows the thing off to effect. And uh, like any system, female vocals, a really nice female vocal, uh, singer songwriter stuff works quite well on this thing. We had David, uh, safe and sound Texas, he was in uh, Dallas Fort Worth doing a record show. And uh, Jason Rojas showed up. He came up uh, from Austin. And what was cool is there was a, a Tracy Chapman. Uh, her debut album was there. That's what a lot of people want. Top songs that I hate, number one, Living on a Prayer. Oh, I like that song. I, I, Living on a Prayer is a rock and roll song. Nothing wrong with it. Runaway by jo- Bon Jovi is a good song. It is a good song. Yeah, that's another good one. I was 14, I think, when Runaway came out, and I loved it. There you go, Jens. Oh, I like Sabbath for block, for blasting away stuff. Rock and roll is another thing. It's the same appeal as um, uh, Marvel comic books that way, or Superman, Batman. The idea of power, it empowers teenagers, right? You got this rugged, you know, like I always sing the line, Alice Cooper, you know. I thought 15 was going to be a breeze. I ran into my room. I fell down on my knees. I picked the guitar to blast away the clouds, right? I love that stuff. And uh, and that's what it was. It was a huge release that way. Uh, someone has to make music for 13-year-old go- girls. Uh, bon Jovi filled the vacuum. Yeah, but Living on a Prayer is, has wide, broader appeal than for 13-year-old girls. 13-year-old girl music is like puppy love. And they called it puppy love. I love you, baby. Uh, don't time out sense until I figure out, make sense of sense. I hope he shows up. Here I can see his comment anyway. Let me go to his channel. Uh, what's the story with sense? Uh, September 18, 2022. It's a real kid with real feelings. So let's not time out sense. Uh, I'm gone. Uh, where he is? There he is. That is a mod. Do that. Station identification. So, yeah, mix it acoustic electric. You know who's another great one that way? Is T Rex, Mark Bolin. Uh, T Rex had acoustic mixed in with electric like that. Yeah, more than a feeling. I mean, when you talk acoustic electric, more than a feeling on that song is really good. Canada's band, Triumph. A lot of bands do that, you know. Um, Chilliwack, four men in a rock and roll band. Fly at night in the morning we land. Fly at night to the other side. Fly at night till you're satisfied. You know, it's rocks. Ah, yo. Hey, uh, Australia. On his Australian run. Six white boomers. Snow white boomers. On his Australian run. Too bad about Ralph Harris. Holy smokes. Sad story. Uh, okay, is it? Uh, no, Ryan, that's not true. That won't be happening at all. That's nutty talk. That's real conspiracy talk. Uh, Ricardo Diaz Gomez, a multisol, muerto, muerto sol album from last year. A musician worked with uh, Setano Veloso in the early aughts. That's our friend Frederick with that update. All right, since we got your wrench. What's all this here then? Oh, nothing, officer. We're just moving along. 
Uh, today's show being brought to you by uh, the good folks at Norman Maslow. Remember, Mazzy loves you. Uh, Mazzy, uh, uh, we w- wish you uh, traveling mercies. Uh, we wish you a safe and uh, enjoyable return to uh, your Seattle-based domicile uh, from your crazy antics in San Francisco. Not bloomers, boomers. Six white boomers. Six white boomers, oh, white boomers. On your Australian run. Bon Jovi without Richie Zambora's bullshit. That's from our good friend Chance. He knows a thing or two, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Mazzy's requested a link. We're going to give him one. We're, uh, we're big Mazzy fans around these parts. Massey, a controversial, a divisive figure, but we love him. We embrace him. So, um, folks, we got 129 watching. Not bad for 6.50 in the morning, West Coast of Canada. Hit the thumbs up for us. If you could do that, that's another part of the equation, and it makes for a very happy and successful live stream. So uh, if you could accommodate, we got 24 thumbs up right now. I'd like to see us get to at least 50. Uh, What's the beef with the spam guy, Brad? He seems pretty preserved. Besides, he was only around for a portion of the seven-hour show. Who did a seven-hour show? Teach me. Speaking of good-looking kids with uh, a a focus on the music, Massey loves you. The merch is out. We support Norman Maslow, and we're very fortunate to have the man with us now. It is Monday. And it is Mill Valley. In Mill Valley. I can look out and see Mount Temple Pius behind me. He's stuck inside an apartment with the Monday Mill Valley again. So I'm there not he leaving is. yet. I'm not, I'm not leaving till Thursday. Oh, that's good. I like that. Because it allows you to settle in for a bit. None of that yeah. rush, rush. You're like drive, drive, drive. Yeah, go I'm in, having, party. I'm Woo-hoo! having uh, a meeting up with some old record friends. On Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm kind of chilling out today. With former, let's be frank. Let's be frank about this. You've you been be frank. With, I'll, I'll be, be frank. Magic. You're going to be mad. I'll be frank. Well, listen, I got to tell you. You could have been though. frank. I guess you were frank. Now you're Rachel. No, I'm you weren't frank. Well, you know, I was never frank. But I'm going to tell you something. Uh, uh, I'm seeing you in the in the uh, presence of some very attractive young ladies. Uh, former colleagues of yours in the film the camera the photographers industry agent mm-hmm. international and did you strike up a dalliance or was it always professional with you it was always professional always professional no temptation whatsoever yeah you know it's funny yes people you talk about people who have never seen a girl when they're have never yes. seen a girl you know the, the audience here <laughs> your audience here or half your audience Yes, half uh, my audience I, have never has They just girl. don't seem to let alone talk to understand one. that women are real people just like you and I. And they're not, real it's not, people in you know, a community. Yeah. So. Yes. No, those are those are friends of mine. I, actually, one of them I had dinner with Friday night, uh, Marianne, and we're, yeah, we're sort of friend, we've been friendly competition, work wise oh. for, God, thirty years. But don't you find that adds to some to sexual tension when you got a con- like you're competing. She's female. You're the guy. She's a hot blonde. She's doing her thing. You're doing your thing. Listen, you won't work in this town again, bitch. Like you get really fired up. No, and then she that, goes, that's never- you bastard. You bastard. She kicks you in the you balls. Know, then suddenly, the nice thing about like, our dinner the other night. You doubled over. You're going, I think I love this dame. And you're going down for the count. But just before you black out, you realize, by God, I'm in love. And the and then you crash and then the yeah. next day you get a relationship no you know the 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 nice thing about the other night was um we were we were talking about i mean you, when you get together like that you talk about business too aside from <laughs> gossip i don't miss the bullshit of the business and she's sharing yeah. some stories about projects and you know there's a whole thing in our business maybe a lot of other business where you're up for something they you have to put together a treatment and a bid package and a conference call yeah. creative call all this stuff and you do all yeah. this work to bid on a, and they triple bid it okay but then they just ghost you they don't say oh, i'm sorry we picked 
Rachel. Yeah, instead. they don't even talk so we, to you. You're just or what happened? They ghost you. You do the work. They invited you. It's not like I'm a sales yeah. guy knocking on. They fucking invite you and they ghost you. And it yeah. happens. It's the rudest thing in the world, especially now with the internet. You just push a button. You can say, oh, we went a different yes. direction, Mr. Maslov or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's bullshit. So I love that. It's kind of like so it's, it's like a door flying off your airplane. Oh, that you don't want that to happen. Now, oh, do you feel I, like hi, you Kimbo. Guys, How you doing? There's Kimbo coming in. So, um, holy, so there's so much going on. Uh, AGK is 100% professional. He's totally professional. And Mass, any kind of words, can you do a commercial for, oh, by the way, Massey, just quick update for you. Uh, it's very serious note. DW has passed. You passed away two days ago. Five forty. I heard. I heard. I heard. I heard. All right. Yeah. I so heard. you knew the man, uh, and uh, so Sue was in. Yeah. He, he, him and Jesse came to my house maybe four times. Wow. Um, Super nice guy, yeah. man. And I'm, so, you know, a couple when that what a month ago, whenever that happened, when I got that voicemail, was cracking up. I didn't, you know, he said he, I didn't realize he went in hospice, and I, I jump that gun but um i talked to jesse after that so um i'm so sorry you know he I, what a trooper man all all the different stays and treatments he did for the cancer in in seattle he lives yeah. north of seattle and all the stuff he went through oh my god seriously i could not go through all those treatments. did that i'm just curious did jesse reach out at you at all in terms of the disposal helping to sell the collection because he's got quite a record no collection. i don't i'm not the and first she's got that on her i plate. haven't heard i didn't i only heard you to say this morning i didn't hear over the weekend I, yeah yeah um, well yeah. anyway i'm glad you're up to date on all of that um, yeah, thank and, you uh, we love them and uh, i'm glad you had the great uh, pleasure and uh, privilege of meeting the man uh everybody says everything's so good with him uh, I want to send some of uh, comments. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. Well, we were it's talking about have you, we were talking about the frogs going gay. Have you heard about this? Oh, I didn't mouse? hear about. I've, I've heard about that, and you know, yeah. not today. It's, I mean, it's used new... almost as a, a byword, as something untrue and uh, ridiculous. Well, frog, but course, frogs are bisexual. Well, no, it's just because of the endocrine disruptors that are occurring. So oh. therefore, they inhibit because they latch onto the um uh cell and then of course they block the receptors of testosterone there's a condition called androgen insensitivity syndrome uh, are you familiar with this condition mousy i am not androgen it's uh, some people have receptors on the on their cells that are unable to process uh testosterone or androgens and as a result of that they develop uh in in form uh but not in function as female Partial function, partial function, uh, so that, for example, a vaginal cavity will uh, will in fact develop. Uh, it's a condition uh, that uh, happens medically, and uh, yeah, it's just incredible. Uh, now, this okay, there, people are talking about this one as being this one is, of probably is, one of the most this, disturbing group photos that's ever been. This created. is the new Supreme Court. Holy smokes, look at that. Holy smokes. You guys look like you, half of you, at least half of you have records. I mean, like criminal records, not records. <laughs> yeah, criminal, that's going to be true. Criminal records. Um, I, went to, I, went to, I went to Jack's house, Jack Flaming Groove. Yeah, yeah Jack's house. Because um, Patrick had his car over at the East Bay BART station and I drove them to El Cerrito and then to San Pablo and we played some music. He's got a beautiful stereo. He's got a massive collection. I got to hold up before, before we speakers. On. We're going to go it's into coming. that, but hold on. I got a guest coming to the stage right now. Uh -oh. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest comes to us direct from Muscle Beach, California. Oh, this isn't a guest. It's Rob. Yeah. It's Rob the Wack. Yeah, but it's you got to give him a proper intro. <clears throat> Continue on with Jack's rock and roll system. His, oh, God, his speakers. Yeah. He's, his clip speakers. And I actually, oh, okay, this is a rarity because okay. I, the, those of you who follow Patrick, I don't know if he's here now. Yeah, PB we follow Saul. Patrick. Yeah, PB mm. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Okay, here's why this is happening. Okay, right. Rob, how are you doing? Well, Massey's looking at that. Let's touch base with you. You're coming hot off a really 
successful. All the children are talking about, oh, my God, I was over at the Wax TV show. I got a, a great message from Johnny in a private communication saying he's so thankful that he didn't buy uh, the Klaus Numi. He just said, I didn't buy the Funny Face record, man. And I went, holy shit, Rob is a there, good yeah, Hold on. There were, three, there were three records, I believe, yeah. he won. Three. Yes. That I had to talk him out of buying. Yeah, I thank God. That is the kindness of this guy. He's a Jew, but he's got a Jew with a heart of gold. He will turn his back on a dollar out of the concern for the love of oh, he's got his George. <laughs> All right, Mass, go ahead. Here, what do we okay, got? Okay, it's hard to see because it's dark, but yeah. this is maybe the only picture you'll ever see of Patrick with a Riga turntable by his hand. Yeah. And he Fair hates time. Riga, the whole he does. concept yeah. of Riga's. Because well, well, hold on, hold on, Mazzy. It's probably the only picture you'll see of Patrick with legs. There we go. Yeah, that's true. But so it's my second meeting with Patrick. Um, it was good. Yeah, we, we had a good time. You're we fine. went to was Amoeba. The, how, was, how was the record show? The record show was good. I mean, th those guys liked a lot. I bought a few things, but um, uh, prices were it good. Was, it was a good record show. Yeah, okay, this is for you, Rob. This is for your uh, Jewishness. Can you respond to this? Am I excited for Connor? Yeah, yeah. I'm not excited for almost anything, man. I'm, oh. going, to, I'm, going, to do my, I'm going to do my taxes today. Am I going to be excited? Uh, okay, I love this. This is from Renee. Great question. You are from Muscle Beach. Where is your muscles? Good question. Good question for a fellow that's not here. He's got the pipes. He's got the pipes. No. Oh, I, crack, I crack walnuts with the. Uh, okay. Uh, Rob, you miss, like, I'm telling the kids about the Patreon. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a push for the commercial of the Patreon. Can you do a, a commercial for my Patreon and just say support for as little as a dollar USD yeah. a month? Hey, about 50 Canadian. hey uh, you're starving. You wanted to reward yourself with a sandwich. Forget about that. Give the money to Rachel. All right. Thank you, Rob. That was very kind. Massey, can you do a commercial for my uh, donos and stuff? This is hello, basically hello, money. hello there. This is Maslov. You, you can give just a dollar a day, oh, a dollar a month, but you know, don't cheap ass out and do a dollar a month, do at least five dollars a month and donate to Rachel's Ghost Patreon. You get special content, which you know, more half fake news, half real news. Do it today. Wait, uh, that was good. Now, Rob, I'm going to give because people want to know. Well, what the hell goes up? What do I get for my dollar? No, no, hold on, can you oh. highlight Contra Buddy's last comment, please? Yeah, absolutely. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> sex and <laughs> there, there. Oh. We're going this. Here's the line. Is she your next interview, Chance? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> now, last night we had a little like can people go. Geez, what do I get for my dollar for the Patreon? What happened? So we had a great show last night. Did an impromptu one because Loki had called out. He goes, help. I go, help. What's going on, Loki? He goes, can I have, he talks like this, can I have emergency stream? And I go, I guess we can see. What do you think? You know, should we go online and help him out a bit? So we went emergency. on. Yeah, he has, uh, it's emergency. So you take requests. Okay. We do. It's part of our patrons. They're paying for it. So we, we deliver. Well, Things go, it was such a good one. Everybody was laughing. We had some fun. And your two panels are any part. I know they don't help out. This is the thing. I am Rob, not a patron. Well, 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 wait oh. one second. Okay, let's look at the balance. Uh, I'm here free every day. Yeah. You definitely financially benefit from me being here. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, but we got it. Like, no. We like this is merch. His likeness is merch. Like I know, I don't get a red cent from that. So you no, people, not a, penny. not a penny. How many have you sold? Ones of one. I think two, two or three have gone out the door. Yes. Anyway, that's not the point. Here's the deal. Yesterday we had this great thing, and the question was raised by one of the patrons because we talk about the vinyl community. You know, we're in it. And even in the Patreon, in the quiet, in the solitude, in the safe space that is the Patreon chat, the question was raised. Do you think Rob, one of the kids asked, do you think Rob the Waxed is ever going to uh, date again? Or is he done? Is he hung up his gun? And I said, I think he's done. 
I don't think there's any. Is, is that why my ass? Is that why my ass was burning all night last night? <laughs> it gets worse. So then, wait, wait. hold on. Yeah, wait. yeah. Go ahead. What's the amount of people that were in this Patreon? Gosh, last night, how many we have? I don't know. We, I don't, I didn't even count. Uh, at most, we've had it's the three. most we've had three. is like twenty four. No, we've had twenty four tops. Was our uh, twenty six? Just... I think it hit twenty. How many people were really interested? On, in average, on average, so it's about seventeen people. Average. How, how, on, was, how many people were really interested in my love life? Well, it was just one person raised a question, but it, 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 was, it, was it, the one per, did the one person's name rhyme with Loki? No, it was another kid, actually. Did it rhyme with Musette? Uh... <laughs> no, it wasn't either one. Now, can I continue with the story, Rob? Because there okay. is a punchline to all this. Uh, it, all right. that, okay. it ends disastrously. I want to do a commercial for the Patreon to show the kind of quality content they're getting. So as we go on with this, look, at, I love this from Mark. I'm a satisfied Patreon. I love that comment. That's, we'll just look that up for a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Loki goes, it was me, definitely. Loki yeah. claiming. I'm a, as I, so anyway, the question was, is Rob giving a, I said, no, I, I, I don't think so. I think he's okay. Then, and this is where it gets good. Johnny said, and I just love this comment, but I'm, it's a, this is, think of this as an advertisement. Johnny said, you know, if I was a girl, I would date wax. I would date wax. And I said, well, Johnny. Wait, that, that, hold, hold on. on. I, comment, I, comment Wait, I haven't even got to the punchline yet, Rob. Okay. That, I go, that Johnny, more. if you were a girl and you were dating wax, he'd want to put his dick in you. <laughs> that, 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 that's the punchline, Rob. What? Well, you should see Sue's face. Ra Ra Rachel, can I take five minutes <laughs> to <laughs> violently vomit? L listen, Rachel. I love this. Yes. No, no, everything you're telling me is not making my day any better. I have records to box up and mail. <laughs> well. <laughs> Rachel, should I really send those face melting records to Johnny now? Oh, my God. It was just a beautiful moment. But Johnny is so sweet because he stood up for you. You know, he's like trying to say, hey, you know, like, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I don't if, need if you're getting money. nine people and Patreon talking about that shit. I'm really afraid. Yeah, I don't need, to hey, listen, people. Yeah. I don't need anyone to stick up for me. Thank you. <laughs> it's just natural. It's nature. I was trying to help Johnny think his way through the whole right. equation. Because he's just speak. saying, yeah, because Johnny. Yeah. You know, Rob, you said so many times, you know, you can think of um, before you type something out. But he didn't think it fully through. He goes, I would, you know, because he's trying to say Rob's a nice guy. And I would, I you know, I'd date him. him if I'm a girl. I go, yeah, but, you know, the consequences. Think, Johnny. <laughs> Where is it all going to end up? <laughs> With Rob over you. <laughs> I, I love Sue. you, Johnny. Hey, Sue, I think Sue needs a solo vacation. <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh, man. I love, <laughs> I love this comment. Gay Johnny <laughs> is the final boss of the LGBTQ <laughs> plus community. Holy smokes. Well, anyway, so we have hijinks like that on the Patreon. Massey, and another thing, too, you know you did your mall video? Another video kind of like that has showed up. I did one on Instagram. Well, there's been one My done for My mall video? In a whack-a-mole? Your no, mall. No, mall. your mall. Oh, mall. mall. I just said mall. mall. Yeah. You know how that took on a life of its own. Sure. So what happened was the... Uh, so there's a on the patreon's got a little tour kind of thing happening and it's again it's an exclusive but the feedback's been extremely positive on my impromptu tour that we did another yesterday. one another well it's, one? yeah but it's not a mall it's it's a it's building uh, on the theme. so you mocked me for the benefit of your uh, patreon it's not not you it's not just you know the I, I, because of you, you when was i here saturday yeah. you uh started a poll that poll about me and I barely eked it out oh, at 51% yeah. or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, our, uh, 
uh-huh. don't want to say friend, but did a short, you know, the whole Mazzy, you know, yes. drama. Well, that already thing. predated it. That would already been out unless they done it. Oh, I thought it, no, I thought it was based on your uh, poll. Like, all the no, weekend. they already did one. I saw it pop up, but I didn't watch yeah. it. So. Yeah, well, you're smart that way. Like, yeah, why you would know. you do it? That's just like bending over going. I just, I head. still, I just don't get the whole like interest in wanting just to react to someone else to do this video. It's one thing if you're reacting to a, a record release or an artist <laughs> or a label or something, but for yeah. uh, to, to react to us YouTubers for something, that's kind of ridiculous. I yeah, think. but this is the whole thing, right? It shows that you're the thing. The lesser always borrows, the lesser always orientates towards the greater. Yeah. And then, so this you know, is Sava, from- Sava it has been, I think saw a couple of people, they want to use my name and condoms in the same yeah. post like for days now. <laughs> days have you decided to market? Like I've been wanting to, that. I should do a, like on my, you know, if that company had condoms with, with a little sticker, yeah. Mazzy loves you, I would have put them on the page. Wouldn't that be incredible to have that while you're at, you're with your lady, gentlemen you're with the lady of choice hey would you and hand me right a mask in the moment and then suddenly she sees as you're excited Massey your little soldiers are saluting and there it's getting bigger and bigger massey loves you it just kind of <laughs> yeah and, and it, it actually it, says massey patenia or something hey yeah. um yeah go ahead i have a video coming up this is the only reason i'm promoting it because uh okay. i did with the help Speaking of george of borden george borden Filmed me in Amoeba doing a whack-a-mole in Amoeba. I only did three, didn't do five. Okay. And yeah. I just, um, spoiler, I got two out of three. I was stumped on one. Oh, which one? Oh, well, we'll have to watch the video. Watch it. That's we'll the have teaser. To watch the video. Yeah, it's a great teaser, man. It's because I'm thinking, what the hell could possibly stamp Mousy? Oh, the there's a thing- lot. Of, I mean, in a, in a well, store like any Amoeba. Any of those- Marino Ranoms could probably stump you. No. Well, oh, you know these rare, you know, and you go. I've never seen this. I uh, the <laughs> All right, I love this. Can I make a suggestion for Massey to change his tagline from "Massey loves you" to "Massey wants to love you"? What do you hey, think about it? There, well, Lo- apparently Loki is a Patreon for you. For five hundred bucks, Loki, I'll do that in my next uh, video. So if you please send me five hundred bucks. I'll do Mazzy wants to love you. Okay, here's Salva bringing in some context, some much needed context for you, Norman. Oh, well, that, okay, that, I understand that. Yeah, but you're, but since I've been here on these streams, it's been, it's, yeah. you've been bringing up a lot. I didn't no, mention that. Yeah. 505 bucks for a Mazzy condom? I said 500, not 505. Uh, Mazzy, which amoeba, Berkeley or San Francisco? We were in San Francisco. Um, I only drove through the East Bay, but we went, we had lunch at Cha 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 Cuban restaurant. Yes. Um, like it was that, Nicole, like that's it was Nicole, George, um, Ringo, Jack, and um, what's the guy's name? Not, uh, God, he's on. Good time. BB Thumb. He's on um, Westman Stream a, a couple of times. Uh, he oh. lives here in the East Bay. I'm, just, I'm sorry, Mike, it's morning. Mm-hmm. You know, Take the congested time. voice here is hotel rooms. When they have yeah. this bad heating thing, you get yeah. that congestion in the morning. Is his name Tapas? No, you know, um, not Chris. Uh, Is Chris Tapas? I wanted to say Lincoln. It's not Lincoln, but it's um, what's his name? Nixon. He was selling at the show yesterday. Kennedy? Is it some sort of presidential poke? A lot of people like poke president poke. I'm not extorting you. I'm a sales. I'm a salesman. I've been a, yeah. a sales rep here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. We got Jose is absolutely. Yeah, Jefferson. Different. I'm sorry, Tublandia, Jefferson. Yes, thank okay. you, thank you. Uh, we knew it was great. a president's name. Washington. Great guy. Great, great, great guy. Yeah. FDR Pardon? Roosevelt. We knew it was going to be a president. A president. Name. Yeah. Yeah. Clinton, something like that. Van Buren. <laughs> <laughs> yes, points Van are Helsing. Matt, Van Matt, Helsing. I'm, Matt, I'm so knocked out with your interest in uh, astronomical photography. I think that's incredible. Holy smokes. 
You know, We're getting a kid from El Salvador up here. And so say today's the big eclipse day. Today's yeah. the big eclipse day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything about that? Like, why are there conspiracy theories about that? It's just an eclipse. I, I don't. I haven't heard any. What kind of conspiracy? You know. Yeah. What? If I'm basically not, anything that happens, someone comes up with a conspiracy. Oh, what's he need? What's Matt need? He needs four subs to get to 100. Oh, oh, I'm going to go over there right now and promote him. Hang on, Matt. We'll promote you. I've got right now, I've got fishes with human face on my screen. We talked about this earlier this morning. I'll get them in. Oh, well, yeah, but I want to show the oh, page yeah, yeah, and really do a big Sorry, thing yeah. for Matt. Because he's what, worth anybody everything. know what time Pacific time is the eclipse? I don't even know what time. Uh, I you think know? it's um ten thirty ish, but we're we're not going to see anything here, Mazzy. Right. I thought yeah, you could you in Northern California and Canada. No. Okay, folks, we're doing a big uh, promo. Are you real? Are you related? Are you uh, subscribed to Matt Pasterson, Mass? Yes. Oh wait, is Matt Matt here? Matt's here. Hey Matt, I need your address, man. Can you send hey, me your Matt, address? You need his address. I yeah. may have it. I don't you know, need. No matter how many times you ask people for addresses and all this stuff on those auctions, look at that. The support for everybody is astounding. This is a great song. Go all the way, raspberries. Landslide, Fleetwood Mac, of course, uh, Stevie Nicks song. Uh, New Middle Line, time to get out the psych. Rocking the psych music there. There we go. Red Jim's record collector news now playing. I love that with the doors. That is so clever. Love that. Here's an example of his uh, astronomical photography. That's Jupiter with some of its moons. Little Juno is one of them. Uh, we've got Jose Marino Ran joining us. He's in avatar mode. There he's out of that now. Here he is, a real boy. All grown up. Now he's back in Avatar. Mark. Seems to be eating something. Folks, please subscribe to Matt. I'm going to show you something. Um, notice that I am happily subscribed. Don't ring that. Matt will annoy you. Just do this. There's his totem, his personal totem. The kid's got his own totem. It's a little think, character. Uh, on his own time. Jose is sending us Morse code. Okay, so 96. I want to see that number. Yes. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to refresh. What? It didn't grow at all. I, I'm sad. I'm going to refresh. What? It's what is going on? People, please subscribe to Matt. He supports everybody. He's one of our best and brightest. I think the problem is people confuse him to with that tweak that tweaking name that twerk Speaking. guy with. Matt Basterson or Mannion or whatever his name is. Oh, that's a name. Yeah, that's not his name it. is too close to the asshole. Okay, uh, bringing up one of our best guests ever. <clears throat> Very popular, extreme popular is Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Fuck is that Johnny? Hey, Rachel. Yeah. Can you can you uh, be completely honest? Do you used to listen to Rush Limbo in the evenings? No, He's I dead. don't. Rest Rush has passed away. I said, I said, did you used to? No, I never did. I'm fully honest. God is my witness. No, 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 no. May I burn in hell a thousand years if I listen to Rush Limbaugh. I, know who, I know who he is, but I never I never listened to him. He wasn't my Rush Limbaugh is fucking dead, and I'm glad. All um, right. Well, don't be mean spirited. Here we go. I, I am I am very glad. Uh, you know, Rob was uh, what a gentleman. I'm very glad that Rob uh, talked me out of those albums. I because when I when I finished when the show was finished and everything I went on to check out some tracks of, of Klaus Guy or whatever yeah Klaus and uh, Klaus and um, Faro Sanders and yeah, holy Pharaoh crap Sanders. <laughs> it would have exploded your ass Johnny you you don't have to bid on that don't don't bid on that. your ass would have been like powder no but no but the thing is is okay when when you like I know a lot of people probably know what these yeah. albums are all about but I. But the thing is, is when I was bidding, um, it, it was like kind of like, okay, I don't know what the, the the record is. It looks seems like it's pretty good, but as you're bidding, you don't have enough time to go and check to see what the tracks are like, album, like, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't bid on what you know, Johnny. What, well, hold what on, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny yeah. if you if the music, if somehow the album seems interesting to you, go to say to yourself, well, maybe next time. And I would say this album's very rare. You can't get it. 
I think this no, needs that wasn't the, the case for many of them. Oh, uh, she's <laughs> manufacturing drama, Johnny. So let me just do something yeah, for the drama sake. Johnny, you're pathetic. Why would you ever yeah, bet on a record you don't know anything about? I am. No, 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 no. Now but, go, go the stand in the is, corner for five minutes. No, but, but the thing is, you don't call me a moron. And I, I feel left out. You're a moron, Johnny. Thank you. I feel better. <laughs> hey, but I mean, seriously. Maybe make a note saying, huh, oh, I'll check this guy out. And maybe next time I'll buy one of his albums. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I got caught up in the moment. <laughs> Johnny, you don't have to bid on records you don't know. It could be something horrible like Rush. I mean, you don't know that. Well, I tell you, when 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 I heard those tracks, when I like I said, it was like, oh, holy shit, I'm very glad. <laughs> that would melt my face. I almost had a stroke after I finished listening. Yeah, yeah, Johnny, you were hey, about John, to. John, yeah. Hold on. This needs to be said. Johnny, was I wrong about anything I said to you in the auction? You weren't. No. What Pharaoh Sanders was it, by the way? I it's a, a Strata East oh. record. Hey, My Johnny, friend. Johnny, and Rob, when's when's uh, the first date night? Hey, Mazzy, <laughs> about Mazzy, we already know you did a three way last night, so be calm down. Oh my God! But Mad you know, uh oh. Hey, hey, how how how, how much romance did it take to get Jack to yeah. invite you back to his house? Oh my God. You know, the thing is, auctions, like, you really, really get caught up in it. I mean, in the, you know, it's like, and you, and you want to outbid the other person, right? So you get Johnny, really you know, every, 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 every <laughs> you know? bid. Johnny, this but. is crazy. This is like that thing where uh, they're doing the, you know, when you have the gag, the thing, you got the hypnotist. Um. And then one guy's trying to hypnotize somebody and goes, look, it doesn't work. And then suddenly you turn Reason. over. And the Thank guy you. that's not being hypnotized is actually hypnotized. Johnny, you're that guy. You're the guy Thank that you. uh, you're a collateral hypnotized victim. Go ahead. Okay. You. I, I'm afraid, but I want to have to diagnose Johnny L as a okay. shopaholic. Shopaholic? No. Shop, no I'm shopaholic. Uh-uh. Yeah, well, it had to, it's been building up, I guess. A shopaholic and a metrosexual, right? That's that's what you want in life. Uh, Martin McGrath <laughs> captured the moment. All right, metrosexual. Okay, what's going on there? Fighting with them. Is that the mom? Mom's on the left. Mom's with James. Okay, hold on. Let's, okay, let's I got to promote guy. James. <laughs> I what is it? Okay, what? Uh, let me see. Hang on, you guys have fun. I got to go watch this thing with Sue. Okay, hang on. Go ahead. Show me this. Trouble's brewing. I can tell. All right. So the reason Trump is a piece of shit is because he's a fat lard, and uh, if you support oh. that fuck, you should eat oh, shit. Yeah. In my Jose, <laughs> come on. Don't say that. There's not one reason. There's like a hundred reasons. So yeah. yeah. That's so, a good one. Mazzy, but... Mazzy, it was nice to see you having a great time there. You know that I like I like that, that group picture, that group picture at the table. That was a good picture. That was yeah, wasn't nice. that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what do you think about this? I like taking a chance on artists or recordings. I do not. What do you think? What, what Star, uh, Star Trek the next generation character was that? Oh Jesus! It was so poorly done. I have no yeah. idea. Hey. Now, what the fuck? It was no. perfect. Oh, I, I have a question. Which one was the foreman of the jury? Oh, you God. know, there I just, just happened to be an empty that. table um, next to Tublandia, and so we uh, kind of hung out there. Where was that at the at the record? At the record the USF record show at US. I don't know if I want to stream today. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know. How crowded it, was it, Mazzy? I mean, it wasn't. Like super packed, but it was steady. Definitely, it wasn't like you know crap where you can get it. It was if a nice, somebody, constant, a constant flow. Um, there was some good stuff there. Uh, if somebody wants to give me proof of that, Rush Limbo is dead. I'm a hundred percent there, hey, dude. T-shirt. He was dying of cancer for like five years, dude. He's dead. So they say. Yeah, Rob. Rob, I'm not. Are I have family. Funny? My, my wife is a cancer survivor. I'm only saying I'm glad that Rush Limbo is fucking dead. What a piece of shit. But you don't have, you know, that's uh, that's oh, that's. Oh, what's going on with that, Rob? What's happening? This is uh, Matt Bastardson's package. 
Okay, Matt, it's got to go to you. We need you to email. No, he, him, he, he, said he, he said he, he said he said he did it on PayPal and emailed you. Don't, so don't fucking dox him, Rob. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, yeah. I, this, I, is, I, this I, is his I, real name I, and his address. All right, right down down I got information. So it's Matt Basters' son. Matt yes. Basterson. Now, it's listen, Matt, I, I'm so proud to announce that Matt has reached 100 subscribers. Congratulations, Matt. That is extremely well deserved, and you're only going to get more as you continue to put out great content. And he's interested in astronomy, and I just love love that aspect. There's somebody. Right, nice hold on, Rachel. Do you want, he said, do you want people to go guy. to his channel? Do you want people to go to his channel? Yeah, I do. There he is. This is Matt. Wait, so Ross Limbo yeah, know, fucking buried in St. Louis, Missouri? Yeah, Chance goes visits his grave once a week. He goes full oh, GG Allen on that shit. Yeah. All right. Rachel, if you had the chance to revive just one Republican, which one would would it be? Oh, uh, I so, guess uh, that would be difficult. I guess Abraham Lincoln would be my guy. We oh. were sitting uh, on Haight Street, and this tour bus was poking, uh, reaching out, and look at, looking at the hippies in the window. Yeah, so, it's a big bus. Yeah, and they're on top. One of the big bus. Rachel, but why would you want uh, Abraham Lincoln if Trump is the best president? Uh, eat like. You know, honest Abe, right? You know, honest Abe. Yeah, I like Abe. Hey, uh, Fred, how you doing there, buddy? Hey, Look hey. at the mountain of vinyl behind the boy. Uh, a blind man's penis. Holy smokes! And other smashes. Nancy, why? Why are you so fixated on your own? Oh. Such a horn dog. You know, I, I I think that if if Abraham Lincoln was alive Look. today, he would have he would have killed himself if he saw the the Republican Party now. Jeff Tweedy was there. Oh, that's oh. He was? Who who's that? Jeff Tweedy. The guy yeah, from, from, Wilco. from I was what, just Wilco? thinking if there's going to yeah, be if there's going to be some bromance going on, I I need to be here, right? I want to know all about it. I'll put you right in the middle. You're the gay oh, judge. Oh. You're the gay judge. Gay judge. There we you go. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that uh that uh close if Rush if Rush Limbo would would be alive today, I would a hundred percent ask him out to eat. Wait, 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 what's this? You're the only one who brought up Rush Limbo. What's the obsession with him? I don't. Somebody mentioned him. I don't know. Oh man, one sixty two watching, folks. One sixty two watching. Let's get some thumbs up for Jose and his excellent analysis of Rush Limbo. You know. Fantastic. The, um, Maggie's, uh, Maggie's picture with the group, it, you know what it reminded me of? Yes, you know the, the McCoys, the Hatfield and the McCoys, where they're standing there with a pitchfork and all the McCoys found. No, I, see, well, we're hard. trying to, we want to replace, we think that's the first six appropriate uh, judges for the Supreme Court. We'll take lifetime appointments. I think we need to shake it up a bit. Right, she's right in bed. Um, uh what uh, why i'm inside a toilet is it too echoey here you're yeah. very echoey today yes or at least take a dump I okay. so, oh. yeah. that sounded like a toilet whistle actually yeah it sounded like a toilet whistle. uh welcome to the show uh fred how you doing uh any uh, stories coming out of belgium with that today that we need to be aware of uh well i just finished a, a seven day work week so i'm happy to be a couple of days at home oh that is, nice. that is nice on a monday now today's so, question that i put up for the audience there right no. fred is uh you know i like to rock that's the name of today's episode you know i like rock what do you like to rock to what's the hardest what like when you really want to just oh you're frustrated whatever and you just want to rock and you get something that really gets in there who do you go to? Who's your uh, go to for rock? For rock. Um, rock. I think I will go for uh, Time's Up by Living Color. Time's Up by Living Color. Living Color, they did the, wasn't, what was the, they were always on that TV show. Mad no, TV. no, no, it's not, TV? they did. They had a, there was a TV show with the, the Wayans brothers or what? what yeah, are they yeah, yeah, the, yeah, that one, Matt TV, wasn't it? Different thing. This is, like, this is like a black color. rock band. No, but they Living played on Living Color. I think they were on, the band was on that show. 
No, the Living Color was, was a, a rock band, a, a black rock band, and they were yeah, performing. I know they, are. they had dreadlocks and colored dreadlocks. And and all that. I think they were discovered or brought. They were brought to uh, Sony Music or uh, or was CBS, whatever it was at the yeah. time, by Mick Jagger. But I'm not really 100 percent sure of that story. Is is this still around here? He may be. We don't know. Uh, I was going to show you him my uh, my uh, my my uh, kosher wine. Hebrew right, right? wine. Yes. Are you oh. getting ready for Passover? Yes. What's the deal with kosher wine? Like, is regular wine not kosher? No. It's hold just on. it's hold just the wine that you know somebody didn't put their balls it's into. Last no, no. Hold, hold hold on, you idiots. Yes. Go ahead. Whoa. We, we about about eight or ten years ago, Manischewitz yeah. decided to move their operation to Southern California to Oxnard. Yes. Because it was the closest proximity to Orthodox Jews who could come and work at the plant because it has to go through the kosher process of being made and observed by those people. That's, a, that's how it's kosher wine. Where'd they move from? Well, this I is Mexican were, wine. I think they might have been in Northern California, but I'm not 100% yeah. sure. This is, this is Mexican uh, uh, kosher wine. It says there. Wow. It's made with the tears of crying Jews. Oh, 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 we got living color. Look at Frederick is very quiet. He just holds records up. There's a living color record. Na, 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 na. That looks very busy. Like it looks very busy. I think Corey Glover, the singer of this band, has one of the best voices in rock and roll. And he stills oh. we're now like 30 years later, and his voice is still amazing. This is a. Uh, this is a great album. Do you know that song? Love wears its ugly head is more yeah, blues. That. Yeah. You know, he was the, an actor. I, I believe he was an actor before he sang in that band. He was like on 21 Jumps. What happened to them? Why did they split up? Or what's the deal? I don't know the history. I no, think they're they still were, around. They're still, they're still oh, they touring. I think they, they would they, I think they would take long breaks and stuff. Oh, like got that. it. Uh, I think they I've still never make heard records. That. Do they still make records? Well, there's this I'm thing called the sure internet. That, that you can, I, I'm asking here because I want to talk to people instead of like. Do you know? Listen to this song. This is with this has a rap by Little Richard, and the the, the saxophone is by I should look it up. I don't know, a famous saxophone player. But this is an amazing. If you want to rock out, Rachel, Not listen King to Turner. Yeah, Curtis. I know. I, yeah, I I know of them. They were never really my thing, but I, I okay. hear you what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I hear you preaching. I pick it up. What you're doing I right appreciate. It. This is it. Rachel, do you of... take any supplements? Like, uh, yeah, I guess so. Like vitamin E. I take vitamin D. Take vitamin D. A couple of uh, thousand milligrams of uh, vitamin D every day. Take those one a day vitamins. Yeah, I take that too. Yeah, uh, that it looks like fish oil. Looks like a it, fish it oil. Is, it is. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I do. They're good for us, I think. Johnny, yeah. I'm not chewing on that shit. I was just, just swallowing it. Yeah, you just swallowed it. Uh, well, uh, I remember now. Elv Elvis is dead. That song has a rap by Little Richard and saxophone by uh, Maceo Parker. So Little, Little Richard, Richard, God rest his soul. I, I'm. You know, Little Richard, uh, not a Rosh uh, Limbo fan, so that, I'm happy. Elvis is dead. <laughs> yeah, it's a great song. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's, that's that's it for me preaching. Man, my fucking well, I like someone else for a change, throwing out liberal shit instead of me. No, uh, Rob the Wax. Who do you uh, who do you go for in terms of when you really want to rock out? Who's your rock? Go to rock with out the, with the cocktail. Um, I'm an ACDC guy. I have all ACDC. Oh, okay. ACDC does it for you. Like Nasty, who do you rock out to when you really want to just rock? I, I always go for, I don't go for metal or hard rock. I go for punk. So I'll go for Clash or Sex Pistols. Oh, or wow. Any, okay. or Ramones. I mean, I'll go for punk bands. I'm a, I like all kinds of punk. All, you know, sub, post punk, um, punk, you know. You know what, what, you know what the D stands for, right? Uh, Rachel, you haven't asked me what I rock to. Um, oh, I'm working my way through the panel. Okay, Jose, who do you like to rock to? I asked you in the panel earlier in the right in the beginning. I, I reply like ten times. Oh, okay, go ahead, say it. No, I was going to say the Stooges. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I just want to be your dog. What a song that is for that. No, that, I, I don't like this song. But uh, uh, Which one do you like? The Eyes and that's my favorite uh, studio song and TV Eyes, 1969. Uh, I don't know. It's just, uh, is that from more. Funhouse or is that from uh, Self-Titled? Which album? And, is and it's from the Self-Titled and uh, TV Eyes is from uh, uh, Funhouse. All right. I'm not a. Um, um, I mean, the third record is fine, but uh, raw. Pa I mean, like raw power has like three songs that I really love, and then the other ones are good, but not. It's fantastic. Rush Limbaugh actually enjoyed the Stooges quite a bit. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, he probably loved them. I he found he got uh, Black Sabbath. Uh, he's got an album for his Black Sabbath collection, which is great. Um, what which one is it? Oh, I found he's, he's, got, uh, Black Sabbath. Uh, he's got an album Black collection. Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. 106. Uh oh, 106. <laughs> 106. Oh, 47 years ago, man. Oh, god, yeah, 77. Man, the years go by. John, <clears throat> go ahead. Who do you like to rock out to? Um, the doo op, uh, to the doo op tunes. I like, like, uh, oh. But Johnny, I mean, I'm talking rock out, like when you're frustrated, do you ever get I, frustrated, Johnny? Okay, okay. Um, the, the guess who? Yeah, the guess who? Johnny, do you rock out with your CEO? The guess who would do it. Kick out the gym. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, uh, you rock out with your Cialis, Alan? <laughs> hey. Rachel? Yeah. Hey, uh, um, ahead, I had a, I just want to say I, ha I I had a chance to li I cleaned it and I had a chance to listen to this one. Okay. And it's 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 really it, it is really really good. It's uh, Johnny. If you like that record, do never buy a Pharaoh Sanders record. Never. It's 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 up up. You know, it's like a um, swing, um, jazzy. Um, Compilation of, of of tunes, very very good. I, you know, I, I, hey, is there any song that's even close to sounding like uh, "New Me" on there? Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, can you re read off some of the song titles? Sure. Okay. Um, Let's see what we got here okay. for community. Okay. First, okay, it's it's well, by. Um, while you read it, so everybody can see what we're talking about. Okay, the the group is um, Hen Gates and the Gators. That's the group. Wait. Um, wait. So it, there's some, um, uh, let's see, rock and roll, stop, hand clapping, look out, hold it, uh, the creep, uh, TNT, and on this other side, on this other side yeah. here, yeah. Um, it's um, it's pretty small, so I'm trying to, oh, rock and roll was not the song, it's the name of the Rachel, um, Rachel, I'm, um, Rachel, I'm beyond flabbergasted to tell you that the RoshLimbo.com page is still up, yeah. and there's an entry about Rosh Limbo's friendship with none other than Elton John. There's a photo with them, and his favorite song of all time. Can you guess it? A Yellow Brick Road. No, my the city was back. gone. My city was you, gone. Pretenders. No, hey, oh, way to go, Ohio. Feel, no, it's can you feel the love tonight? Oh, nice. And there's a photo of Rush Limbo and her, his wife with Elton John. Don't you, well, you, what I think is great about that, Jose, is that you're showing more interest in Rush Limbo than I've ever had. So more power to you. All so, right, Johnny, let's move um, on with you. What do you got? Uh, the the um, side two is jumping and shouting, rock, uh, rocking and rolling, uh, hop, rock and rolling hop. Um, yeah. Backbone, look at, look and listen. Sunny Rock, um, Bear Walk, and yeah, that's it. Okay, but, now, Johnny, uh, how would you describe this music? Like, what are we? What is this? This doo wop kind it's, of thing? It's, it's no, it's dirt. It's all music, uh, instrumental. It's jazz. It, okay. It's jazz, but the um, oh, jazz. The, yeah, okay. the, like the swing. A lot of lot, lot of tunes are like. But Johnny, like yeah. Okay, Johnny, let's jazz. go back over. Okay, the question though, Johnny. Well, go ahead, Rob. What do you got? You're muted, Rob. Uh, yeah. Johnny, can I you hold that record? You don't Johnny, understand the assignment. shut up, Mazzy. Johnny, can you hold that record up, please? Shut up, Mazzy. What? 
Okay, here we go. Um, and we're pretending Johnny's doing an uh, an auction. Hmm. Maybe maybe this one's not for me. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm getting tired of Rob. Actually, I'm getting really really tired of Rob. When he, 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 tech, he texts me people that I should hate. That guy's not a good guy. Her, she's a, a bad woman. That president's no good. That yeah. former president. Matt, who, Matt, yeah, I've tried endlessly to no text you that, that you're a bad guy, but you won't yeah. pay attention. No, well. let let us decide decide for ourselves what we like and who we like. Exactly. Right. That, that's a bad guy. Well, so I had not had that experience. So this is the one I got off my uh, my friend from Quebec. Well, that's very nice, Johnny. Yeah, very that's nice. Yeah. Very wonderful. Nice. You know, it's maybe not everybody's cup of tea, but a uh, few things are. Yeah, I, I've said it from the beginning. I don't like the, uh, the, the, the albums that Rob uh, showed, um, Pharaoh and the other one. I thought they were, well, I was going by, I thought they were kind of like um, jazz, but not like. They are really jazz, strong. Johnny. What the yeah, fuck no, are you I know, about, no, but you didn't let me finish. Jazz, but not the strong, uh, the, the smooth jazz. I thought it was the smooth jazz, not the. Um, Oh, you you um, thought it was like white people jazz, like like one of those like. Uh, well, no, no, I'm not bringing races, but it's it's uh you know, anyway, uh, I know what I'm talking about, and I think. <laughs> Listen, but, I said it the right way. It would have melted your face off, John. It, it would have, yeah. It's face melting. Like, Saunders, of course, uh, free jazz, uh, uh, exponent, proponent, free absolutely jazz. land setting. It's like uh, that Eiler guy. He's no good. He's trouble. Yeah. Right Eiler, nine. Yeah, Eiler. Uh, you know, Actually, with, uh, Rachel. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel I bought. I went to the <clears throat> flea market yesterday. Yeah, that's what and happened. I did Bob. get an Albert. I did get an Albert Eiler record. You got an Albert Eiler. Which one did you get, young man? I'll tell you in a second. But I did pick up a sealed record. I think Mazzy might be slightly. Mazzy, in. let's see what we got. Are you paying attention? Is it Mariah Carey? Does anyone know this movie? Oh, the Jose farm. might know it. Oh, oh, Gene no, because because I'm a farmer. Is that Gene why? From the birds. Do you know this, Mazzy? Mazzy, look what Rob's got. I do not. I do not. I'm. You know, I might have that cut on a comp, but I don't know that soundtrack. This, this is a sealed copy. It's from 1977. The the framer. The farmer. The farmer. The farmer. Man. Rich, you know what? My I English is not that good. Cult, I, I think it's a cult movie. You know who she is, right, uh, Jose? Angel Thompson? And had, and had, had. She was and a Playboy had. Playmate of the Year. Yeah. 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 Remember the Did you know the movie Gator Bait, Rachel? Yes, absolutely. My favorite. But you know, everyone knows who Angel Tompkins is, Rachel. Everyone really? does. Well, I don't. Okay, if you were, were you a fan of the Brady Bunch program? I sure was. Remember the episode where they try to make Greg into a rock star? Yes. Johnny Bravo? Yes. The woman that was with the record guy, that was Angel Tompkins. Well, now I know her. She's yeah. uh, I know her intimately. She was, she was a playmate of the year and I she died oh. young. I want I don't oh, even no. know. Hey she Rob, do you know the label at a San Francisco called Tompkins Square? Yes, they uh, reissued like jazz shit. Was it named yeah. from Angel? Well, they also did uh, Dino Valente. They did a wide range. I met the guy yet. He came up to me yesterday and um, he was talking to me of interesting mm -hmm. conversations about uh, the business and licensing. Uh, it was it was in interesting. Oh wait, wait oh wait, wait. Dave, Dave's Dave's correcting me. Claudia Jennings oh, was I, Gator Bait. Angel Tompkins is still alive. Well, she, Angel, Angel Tompkins, Tompkins is an American actor. She but Angel Tompkins was the same as uh, Claudia Jennings. They were both in, interchangeable. Well, all I'm trying to tell you, you're saying she's dead. I'm telling you the woman's alive. She's dead to me, Rachel. She did me wrong like you are. <laughs> I love that, Rob. That is the only answer to that comment. Absolutely right. Anyway, she's Not alive and well, but dead to Rob. Go ahead, Fred. You got, you're muted, Fred. You're muted, Fred. Fred, yeah, I'm mute. There you go. Can you hear me? We hear you now. No, I, I just want to say I have to, I have to go. I'm going to a, a show in. I'm yeah. I'm going to a show in Brussels. I have to have an early meal and take the train to Brussels. Are you going I'm to gonna see? The... I'm going to see uh, this guy. Well done. Oh, yeah, man. The guy from uh, Point Tricks. No, uh, Point Never. One, yeah. One Tricks Point Never. 
That's a great soundtrack. The, the, the last song, what is Iggy Pop singing? It's yeah. pretty good. That's what Iggy Pop, yeah. Yeah. And That's this amazing. guy made great soundtracks, and he's the producer of uh, The Weeknd, but he makes very experimental like, electronic music uh, as one of Tricks Point Never. So yeah, I'm yeah. Fred, have a great time at the show. But I haven't seen this movie. I haven't seen this movie. Is it any good? Of I course, mean, it is. It, it's yeah, great. it's intense. It's very yeah, intense. It's, too, it's yeah, but, like clinch fest. You know, my, it's, my it's, one of my it's not a comedy. Movies, the Safety Brothers. Biggest, right? Yes, the, the same guys from the Good Time. One of my biggest fears in life is what one scene in that movie, Good Time, when uh, they're being chased by a what is like a what is it a security guard. And they grab him, and the guy has a bottle of like Sprite filled up with as like uh, acid, like uh, LSD. And he gives him like a huge chunk, and he like squeezed the bottle. Like that guy's brain is fucking dead. Like he's never gonna get out of that coma. And yeah, it's it always makes me uh, fear for myself. It's a great movie, but Thank apparently. You. Thank you. The show is going to be very psychedelic and multimedia, so I'm looking forward to the live show tonight. Yeah. Hey, Thank Frederick, you if you hold that album up and you move it in and out from the camera, it will make us all go uh, stoned. Yeah, do weird effects with it. Move it close in. Now move it back out. Actually, Johnny, you will not buy no, no, no. face you melting. Go. That's how you do it. Look Johnny, at that. you will not buy face melting. Ooh. Buy more Feral Sanders records. You can get hypnotized watching. You know, I, I tell you how the show was tomorrow. Suddenly, I want to go and listen to the old bag Rush Limbo. <laughs> the old yeah. a, what what is it called when a young slipper snapper is obsessed with an old You're old obsessed even for an old man liberal like me. Hey, um, no, Rachel, I, somebody I mentioned him. I don't, I, 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 I don't give a fuck about that. And you can't get him out of your head. Yeah. All right. We'll go on level. Of not, Johnny, this is educational for you. Oh, non face oh, melting, oh. face melting. Yeah. This is not face melting. This is a 10 inch. Sarah that Vaughan. would fuck you up if you listen to it, Johnny. Sarah Vaughn's great. Record. Okay. 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 Johnny, Johnny give him 100 Johnny, bucks for that record. Johnny. This will melt your face. Oh, Sun Ra. Yeah. This so, is the face so what you're saying is that if the the cover looks strippy, it would no. melt. Johnny, Johnny, you should get into Art Pepper. This is not a face melting record. Ah, Art Pepper is good, Johnny. This is the type of jazz that when you go to like a, like a lesbian wedding, they don't play. But they should. Hey, wait, how many lesbian weddings have you been to, Jose? Three. <laughs> this is not face melting, but it is different. So what you're saying if, is that if they if they are uh, Muslim and and they play jazz, man, you read too much into shit. <laughs> this is not face melting, but it's avant garde. Henry Threadgill. Yeah, he's good. Now, he's free to. No, this was he in the army or anything? It looks like he's in uniform of some sort. No, he's just you know, like my member. Oh, it was big in the eighties to kind of do that. Brooks, Brooks just saw Threadgill. Yeah, this this might be a little face melting there. Oh, that that looks like a big ass phone. All right, this is not face melting, Johnny. Jimmy Jufri, there he is. Oh, well, he, he's, he's playing. He's playing Jimmy Jufri. Jimmy Jufri's not on here. Oh, okay. That's a that's a oh. fucking cash grab. It, that is that's, that's uh, sax, sax uh, playing a lot of sax. Uh, on you that. would like, I think you would like uh, Sonny Stitt. He, Are you gonna sell that him. record, to Johnny, or not? Um, but he's pretty him. straightforward jazz. Um, sell it to him right now. No, I, I just bought these for myself. This is not face melting music. He's I good, like Garland. Yeah, yeah. Well, Still would probably like this album. It looks like yeah, you're just, uh, you're paying attention here as you're doing that. All right, album. this this is truly a face melting record. This is uh, mm. Albert Eiler, Rachel. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and that balls. There he is, right there. Wow. Nice yeah, yeah. Albert Eiler, uh, sad ending. Ended up uh, being his body was found in a canal, oh, dear. and uh, they think maybe. Foul play may have been part of the equation for that, but very troubled mm -hmm. individual, by all accounts. 
This is face melting, Johnny. Start oh, that's a good record. Of Chicago. Uh, that's a good record. Mm. That uh, even looks face melting. Like you know, those guys are in for trouble with yeah, their jazz. I, I wouldn't. Just looking it, at that guy, that one guy seems well, to have his face melting. This guy is a member of the Art Ensemble, so this is face melting. Okay, Rocco Mitchell. Mitchell. See, he doesn't look, he looks calm, and it doesn't look like there's going to be too much trouble coming out of that record, but you're here to tell us otherwise. You know, I'm this, not here, dude. Actually, this is avant-garde. This is this is advanced for you, Johnny, but I think you probably might like this. Charles Tomber. Yeah, Music Inc. Can you sell that to Johnny so we can test it out? I, I think, really okay, here's what I advise down. everyone to do, and I do it. You stream it, and you yeah. go, hmm, this is for me. This is not. This isn't for me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, these um, are good. It was a good haul yesterday. I was very happy. I'm going to go now. Because, um, um, oh, um, Rob, you're go going to go listen to the show. Hold on, Johnny. Let's just, Jose's trying to get out of here. Let's Jose. send him off with a lot of love. Oh, Jose, you have a great day. Thanks for coming on TV show. Being part of nice to see you, Jose. I still didn't get Jose. I still didn't get that Beatles thing yet. I don't know what's taken uh, with the Mexico. Johnny, I sent I sent you the link to track it, and it's yeah, coming did. from Mexico to Canada. And I'm sorry to disappoint, no, no, but I, Canada has fault. the worst piece of shit mail service on the face but, of the planet. You know, yeah. you know when uh, when I when I read the, the the last tracking, it said something about a valiso. So they put it in a, in a valiso, like a suitcase. And I'm saying to my wife, "Holy crap! I hope that not. I hope they didn't put uh -oh. anything else in that suitcase." <laughs> uh oh. But, yeah. What's up? What's up? Are you talking about drugs or migrants? <laughs> when they they put that, but it was in, uh, put in the valiso, and I uh, yeah. I, I checked the uh, interpretation. It said it, it's a suit. It's a case, suitcase, or a case or something. And I'm thinking, holy crap, I hope they didn't okay, put anything now, else in that case. Okay, well, let's work this one out. Let's talk our jazz. Mazzy, you're, uh, you got an, an young, a young ingenue such as Johnny dabbling his little toe into the world of jazz. Give me three artists that you would say, Johnny, this is where you want to go with your adventure. Well, I'm going to take a, I'm going to skip the obvious choices like. Uh, you know, Chet Baker, Miles, and Chet Baker, Rubeck, and stuff. But oh, um, I, them. I, I, I think there are other people who are really good. I, you know, um, I mean, what's what's the um, what's that Lee Morgan? What's the big Lee Morgan side side Sidewinder? Sidewinder is that Lee Sidewinder. Morgan? Yeah, that's a fun record because it's kind of a party record. It's not an easy right. going, but it's not out there. Sidewinder is a great record by Lee Morgan. I yeah. think there's a uh, classics version of it for 25, 30 bucks, whatever. Um, I mean, there's so much. I, you know. Oh, I did pick up a killer ass record yesterday. I don't know how I you'd got like it. A, you'd like, a, I know it's not normal jazz, but you'd like a, um, Ella Fitzgerald. A Jimmy Smith, yeah. Oregon stuff would be great. No, know? this, this, his, the he, sermon. for such a popular artist, it's surprising. This is an OG stereo or. Maybe a second pressing mm -hmm. New York label. Yeah. Um his this stuff doesn't go for much, but this is right. a killer ass right. record. It really I like all his stuff. Some people don't like jazz organ, but I love it. Uh, Jimmy Smith is great. I it's like Bobby Hutchinson. This is a really yeah. good record. Bobby and, yeah, Hutchinson. Bobby Hutchinson, if you like great. the vibraphone. Yeah. Very this smooth, Johnny. Uh, Bobby Hutcherson, very smooth. Here's, here's what I like here. I'll show okay. I'll, 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 okay. I like the I like the smooth jazz, oh. right? When you're sitting in the lounge drinking. Oh, uh, you mean Kenny G? Well, yeah. you like, do you like do you like vibraphones? Uh, what's you, that? Do you like you marimba? Like marimba? Oh, marimba. Oh, marimba. A little marimba kind of. You thing. know, you Cal like Jader it? stuff is kind of loungy, Latiny. Uh, it's really good. I mean, it's cheap. But but the, the what the what what I don't like is. Um, you know the one. It's, it's probably free jazz. I'm probably talking about. It's you know they throw every all the instruments blend in together. They're playing. All you hear is the in, the, the, the uh, trombone. No, that's called the, rush. Like it's like, like that's and and it's like somebody okay. throwing a pots and pans down the stairs almost. That's what. That's hey, uh, Johnny, 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 have you ever had a tromboner? No, not no, not lately. I haven't. I haven't had that for a long time now. <laughs> oh man, I love uh... it. Uh, but John, I, uh, like I did play. Uh, 
I did have a I did have a, a sax. Yeah, uh, Donald Bird in uh, high school. Yeah, Donald Bird's a good choice. Edwin. Johnny, Johnny, just log into one of those internet radio things and go to a jazz channel and just go let it play. And just, and you can watch play. some of the jazz YouTube shows. See, I, I Rob, 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 I never been on on. I I watched your auctions, but I've never been on something. So I wanted to I wanted to support you. I wanted to be there, and not that it's much, but every little bit helps it. No, no, and I know I you think, don't need I know you I don't need the, the money records, and stuff. But you the know, records you got are good, Johnny. Uh, you sold. I agree that you said it's it's a it's an amazing. Re ja so if anyone doesn't know, there's this Swedish jazz record from the 70s. Yeah. The story goes that this group that got together weekly would play at a jazz club called the Pawn Shop or something. And one day, like at the last minute, they decided to record the event. Yes, this kind of low level recording engineer drove the truck over, set up the equipment, and that night he captured, people call one of the best recorded live recordings ever. Ever. Yeah. The jazz, I think, is good, but it is particularly not anything challenging or advanced. Mark Lassman could speak to it. Yeah, he says very boring jazz. I think it's great, but talk about soundstage and dynamicness. If you put that on a, even a basic system... It's almost like the band's playing in front of you. Wow! It's too bad they have wow, to hop their instruments there afterwards. No, no, it, it's you're you're being funny. So, um, thank you. There's over the last forty years or so or more since it was put out, there are, are several different. I've, in fact, I think within the last year, there's an audio file label that has issued it. But um, it's it's a great recording and whenever i find it i'll put it i'll grab it if it's a good price and put it in the auction so go stream it it really is a good recording whether you think it's good jazz or not so it's like yeah. three blind mice it sounds great but it's boring holiday Maz, i but the pro the difference is mazzy this well, is a live recording people are reacting to it well, so well, it really captures well, that i remember now Yeah, Gambo, Gambo for which, you. Which thing? <laughs> which thing? Yeah, like some of the ones that I have, uh, like I have, um, um, uh, Brubeck and all them. But I like that, you know. Yeah, or, or, uh, or uh, Johnny, I had Miles. Do you, know, do you know who Paul Desmond is, Johnny? Never heard of him. He's the saxophonist who plays with Dave Brubeck. So I had a Paul Desmond. You know what, Johnny? I always throw in an extra record for you as a gift. I will put in a Paul Desmond record for you. Oh, oh thank you. you. You should I love Paul that. Desmond. Right, Paul Desmond the right. trouble is, he was a horrible alcoholic and he died young because he drank. Uh -huh. You know, take. You, do you know the song "Take Five by Brubeck? Yeah, uh, that's the yeah, Maybe it's on my album. I don't know. You, you, you do. I like this. I like them. Love it. Like for myself, liking doo wop and everything. A lot of old doo wop songs and a lot of doo wop songs actually in oldies. There's a lot of sax in, in, in a lot of them. And I like the saxophone. I like it's Yeah, but it's, it's a different great sax. instrument. Pardon? It's different kind of sax. Well, it's uh, I, I don't know what kind of like I know there's tenor oh, and then there's alto sax and then there's uh, a bass saxophone, you know, whatever. Johnny? But um, I, I, I like the saxophone. This is wow. take five. Oh, I think I have yeah, that let's album. Let's get Rachel's stream taken down, Mazzy. I have that album, I think. What happened to Mazzy? Uh, yeah, I was, I was summoned kind of blue. I was, I really was. Go ahead, Mazzy. What's going on? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, I just want to give you a little clip. That's Paul Desmond on sax. Yeah, I like that. That is a good yeah, tune. Five. Okay. Yeah. I think I had that album too. That was so sure. funny, Mike. You're so right about that. I was totally doing kind of blue. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, there's also a Paul Desmond album, Take Ten. I yeah, heard there, that one. There is. And there's also the one he did with Henny Youngman, Take My 
wife oh, leaves. No. Oh, yeah, I think my wife played the Henny Young. Hey, 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 Mazzy, how did it go when, uh, during that wedding when they said, if can anyone speak up? If, does it, yeah, if anybody has any up? objection to why yeah, these they, people. They didn't, they didn't say that. that a lot of it, yeah, it. things have changed. I mean, it's not like the old days, right? It's all a little different now in uh, 2024. Now, okay. Mazzy, when you walked down the aisle throwing flowers, how did I now, Jenny, have you evolved in your journey so far where you can name your top three jazz artists that you, you're going, I really like this one and this is my favorite? Or, you know, what, are you at that point yet? Okay. Um, they did, they, they did number, dance the horror to Havana Gila. But. Well, um, I don't know if you consider Louis Armstrong uh, jazz, but he's yes, jazz. Oh, God, I like yes. Louis Armstrong. Right. I have, he's one I of the have originators of jazz. I have one of his albums, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. I like Miles Davis. Yes. And I like uh, some Charlie Parker. You probably like. I like Charlie Coltrane. Parker. I like Coltrane. Oh, John Coltrane. Wow. Coltrane, you have to be I, careful for you. There's, I have some, some, there's some Coltrane that'll melt your face, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. Not, the ones I have are seem are pretty good. Wow. You, should get, um, you should get if you don't have it, get Coltrane ballads. Uh, ballads. Okay. That's, really a good record it's a good record but it's it's accessible and uh is that for uh our new friend john doyle here i found jazz at the pawn shop john i give you a wrench welcome to the show uh always happy to have a, a somebody watching or speaking up that we haven't heard from before john goes i found jazz at the pawn shop at a local record show uh, the seller didn't know what it was, so I got a great deal on it. So, yeah, this is knowledge is power. Perfect example uh, where knowledge is power showing up in that regard. Lisa, we're talking jazz. you got to be excited about it. Uh, Rob Walker with this comment. Generally, in general, generally speaking, jazz is crap. Jazz is crap. Uh, this, this, right there. It's quite ironic that his favorite performer uh, is a huge okay. jazz fan. Hold on. Hold on, we got a new friend. I hate Rachel, Rob, Massey, and Johnny. You hate there's this. Uh, this may be a hate account. I'm not hey, sure. hold on, Ray, I Rachel. Can I, can I? Can I address you know, this? Yeah. He's a moron, Matt. Ma Massey. Don't call this is, on this. This is one of this is one of two people, and it's probably yeah. Billiam. Hey, Billiam, here's the attention that you're so starving for okay. that your daddy didn't give you. Yeah, Hi, yeah. William, William. Or it's Peacoat. Hey, Peacoat, how's the hair glue keeping that toupee solid to your head? <laughs> Holy smokes. Or I hear, you, I hear you're getting married. When yeah. is her plane land from Russia? Well, then, now, well, then, obviously, this individual is probably on the spectrum. So we want to be very delicate because they could go insane. I, listen, hey, would you like to come on the show and talk about uh, how you got all kind of fucked up in your you mind? Know, it, it's so easy for people to be anonymous and say shit. Yeah. They, 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 yeah. well, hold on. They have no William, friends William, of their own. They're home William, alone. You know, William has a tendency to capitalize. Go plug name. your iron lung in again and go to bed. Yes. Okay. Thank well, you, William. Yeah. Or to pay to pay yeah. uh peacoat. There they go. Well, they're oh, all right. they're all kicked out. Why'd you now. kick? Why'd you kick them out? I just got tired. It was fun for about a minute. Um, can we can we give Herc the attention he so uh, desperately is craving right now? Yes. Um, Herc, uh, because you must be your eyes must be closed when you're on the internet and you put something in your ears, because anyone with half a brain could understand that that dude so desperately craves attention. Just you know, crazy. Yeah. You know, hate, 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 hate is a hate is a strong word to tell you the truth. You know, you could say I hate pizza, I hate steak, I hate you know, but, you know to, hate, to, hate, to hate somebody to hate somebody you don't know, you say I hate that person because you don't know. H hate and is and you don't know simply it's, hate is raw. Hey Johnny, hate cares? is simply ha with a yeah. hate is simply ha with a T E. Yeah. So thank you, Sesame Street. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. Hey, uh, Massey, uh, question for you. I'm going to shoot ooh, 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 the whole night, the whole day down. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with Mondays at this point. Once you're not working the straight nine to five gig, I never worked a 95. Well, it's been years. <laughs> Even my gig was always kind of different times. Hey, uh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. Can I? 
Except can I address, pizza. <laughs> can I address uh, uh, Herc one more time, please? Oh, uh, Herc. Uh... Yeah, Herc, I suggest you change your channel name to Columbo. Thank you. Detective. Herc's a boy detective. Okay, uh, this is Jeff. Why would anyone hate Ra Rachel Massey and Rob and Johnny? Although Rob did call yeah, Sammy yeah. Hagar metal the other day, so I kind of no, hate him well, a little hold, bit. Hold your horses. I didn't call Sammy Hagar metal. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah, I think no, you I did. did not. Yeah, I, I think you did. I, 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 if I did do it, hold on. If I did do it, it'd be in sarcastic kind of way. He is not metal. Yeah, I noticed Gas, gas Mask met, forgot to mention me. I, I guess I'm okay to be hated. <laughs> you know what? I'm 67 years old. Do you think I care really at yeah. this point of time in my life? Well, come on, Johnny. You did wait by the mailbox for two hours the other day. Hey, well, Rufus, yeah. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Rufus, I, did. Oh, oh. I did. I was stuck. I was talking to the postman. I can't. I can't, says Jeff. You're just joking. God. Uh okay, Wax. Not a bad idea. Be a Columbo, sweetheart. Have a have a lollipop there, like uh, what's his name? Who was that guy? Uh, Telly Savalas, Kojak, the, the yeah. great police guy, Kojak. Who loves your baby? Who loves your baby? Uh, you know, Sammy Hagar literally did the theme song for Heavy Metal, the movie. This is something a lot of people don't know. Yeah, but a lot Journey was on the Heavy Metal soundtrack. A lot of bands that were not metal. I tell you, it's Johnny L is the mailman. That's the front JP because of the key and the thing, and it didn't go good for Johnny. Hey, Johnny, yeah. I'm sending your package by UPS so you don't have to wait by the mailbox. All right, and hopefully there'll be no key lots. That there won't be any key involved with the delivering of the package. Uh, Massey, what, anything exciting about music? I always like to ask the question. Anything going on musically that you go, I got to get this right now. I've read this. It's coming. Not really? I mean, I, I picked up some things. Right. I picked up some things. Every day I've gone to a different record store. So, yeah. uh, but I, not a lot, but a hand, you know, bag and a half I, full. I tell you, I'm really happy with this uh, ACDC uh, set I got. And I bought them all because I knew I would kick myself. You know, one would go out and it wouldn't be available anymore. And I go, shit, I should have got it. Now it's not available. Oh, yeah. I just that covered makes... all my bases, grabbed all nine albums. Oh. That's all that's available currently. Coming up in the next, later this year, it's going to be. Oh, and speaking of later this year, Mind Games, uh, the expanded version, John Lennon. That oh. is on my hot to get list. Got to get that. Coming up June, July, somewhere in there, apparently. Uh, so I'll be looking for that. The one I'm missing right now is Imagine. I've got mm -hmm. the Plastic Ono Band. How many have they done of these, Mazzy, for John Lennon, uh, of the box sets? How many have they done? They've been done, done two. They've only done Plastic Ono Band and Imagine. And those, those are the only two, correct? They're yeah, skipping they're, for now um, sometime, sometime in New York City, York. which I, I think it would be great if they did that. Maybe do it a limited one because yeah. it's not going to be a big seller, but the freaks will buy it like us. Um, maybe do that as a I hate to say record store day because it's a CD combo thing also yeah. but um, or I don't know do you personally find sometime in New York City problematic oh yeah absolutely but really? I like you know I think the songs it does surprise us. you know I played it the other day again in a long time it actually sounded pretty good the songs are good the problem yeah. is we we talk about I don't like Elephant's Memory Band. No, me neither. And some of the production's a little wonky. So I'd like to hear what they do with the remix and if there's Ellie if they do with the elemental cuts. I wish they would strip off the band and just have John and Yoko and the guitar, acoustic guitars. Like Luck of the Irish is a great song. I love and that. John, song. John Sinclair, who just died. John yeah, Sinclair just John died. Sinclair that died. is a great yeah. song. So there's um Attica. New York City. There's good songs there. Overly political, maybe too much on the political, even for me. I mean, like, yeah. come on. We get it after a couple of songs. Well, but... And some of them, of course, with the passing of time are no longer topical because these yeah. were issues that were steeped and born out of the time. But uh, I love how balls up political John and Yoko just decided, fuck it, we're doing it, including the cover art, the newspaper parody. Uh, you know, and then really, I hate to say stealing, uh, using uh, Frank Zappa's tape to put a second disc live without 
Zappa's permission, which is bizarre. Well, that became, yeah, that's a, a kind of a controversial footnote. I'm going to hope like hell, there you go. Um, Matt, remaster right at the top, remaster from the original master tapes, George Marino at Sterling Sound. There's your credit for it. And uh, it's got the original, originally released as Atlantic with its serial number. May 30th, 1978, recorded at oh, Albert wow. Studio, Sydney, Australia. 78, engineered by Mark Opitz, an Albert production for Albert International, remastered from the original master tapes by George Marino at Sterling Sound. So hmm. that's the story. Each album in the set uh, comes with this great colorful inner sleeve. And of course, they've all got uh, this kind of generic shot of uh, Angus at the guitar. But you flip it over. This is generic, but it changes with every album. So each <laughs> album is mastered by George Marino. Yeah, wow. George Marino Rat. <laughs> Boom. That's your. That's the story. They do come on this absolutely stunning, and I got to tell you, the the uh, vinyl itself is quiet wow. and, and just a beautiful presentation. And it, I can tell you that uh, where I bought them from, they were going cheaper by 20 bucks per album than what they were selling on Amazon. So mm -hmm. once upon a time, Amazon used to, when they were first starting out trying to get a market share and the like, they were undercutting a lot of the competition. Now they can no longer do that. And so look at your local brick and mortar and they will be competitive with Amazon and in some cases significantly better. 20 bucks cheaper. This is going for 70 oh. bucks over oh. at Amazon. Yeah. So cheaper. Uh, they are digital. They are digital. There's no argument about that. Uh, they are digital. Correct. Uh, they're taking their, you know, they take the master. They went digital. They sound great. Um, I'm happy with them. Listen, the Pink Floyd series I've got from 2016, Chris Bellman, those things are also digital. They sound great. You know, the Springsteen and boxes. Oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead, man. No, the Springsteen boxes that came out a number of years ago, uh, plans yeah. and process digital, they sound better than the originals because the originals tend to be a little muddy yeah. in some cases. Um, but those sounded really good. So, digital digital recordings are not the the death knell of a record. You, there are some beautiful quality. If digital they're mastered and cut matter, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then sometimes uh, people another, like we we know that jellyfish. Those are all analog, and they fucked them up. So you can yeah. fuck it up either I mean, way. Up. Yeah, I've got some old analog uh, reissues. Ten years after. Uh, I got 10 years after out of time or whatever what that thing fuck is. This? You could play a CD through your cartridge, you know, never mind. I don't, yeah, never mind. Uh, no, that's <laughs> not correct. No. Uh, but anyway, um, so what, I, what I'm trying to tell you is that, um, uh, Led Zeppelin and a guy like PB Thel who's specialized in this stuff, it does high resolution digital transfers. He does great, great stuff. He says for your Led Zeppelin, you you basically he goes. I think it's Zeppelin three. He goes Zeppelin three. The Jimmy Page remasters are some of the best sounding you're going to get from that particular album. Go ahead, Rob. As digital to analog digital. Rob, you're muted or something's happening. Hang on, you're muted, Rob. You're muted. It's morning for Rachel, dude. It's not afternoon. What time is it for you, Rachel? It's but it's afternoon. Uh, hold, and uh, hold on. If you're directing a hello to someone in that form, it's where they are. Not Stop making you. rules, Rob. Rob, I'm making Liam, the rules. Liam, that I see you. rules. Liam, your good afternoon is very warm. <laughs> yeah, it's Rob. morning time for Rachel. It's fine. Hey, it might That's look fine. that Rachel's in the middle of the night because she hasn't okay. slept. I, I can't stand this right. drama. I'm heading out. I'm going to listen. Oh. Uh, well, you know. I'm so sorry. This I, much just, longer are you, how drama, much drama, longer, drama, 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 drama. How much longer are you running from the authorities, Maverick? Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm staying here till like Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Maz, you think they're helping out with the show. Again, the show sponsor, Norman Maslov. And remember, <laughs> folks, Massey loves you. Massey loves you. 
All right. Uh, it's correct. The cartridge acts as a microphone of sorts and colors our analog music beautifully. My point was that even digital sounds better when you stick it on a record and play it. Oh, I understand, Sean. Yes, absolutely. A lot of people would agree with that. Um, yeah, I, that's a good point. I, I see what yeah. you mean. Now. Uh, you know, the I saw oh, go ahead, Chani. Oh, um, for people that like uh, um, Pink Floyd and everything, I saw this most beautiful, beautiful turntable. And I've never seen it like anything like it before okay. in my life. It's it's the um, the triangle. The turntable was a, is a triangle, right? Sort of like um, sort of like the Pink Floyd thing, but Dark Side of the Moon, and it's it it's got the, the colors, the red and all that on on one side of the turntable. It's it's online and everything. Um, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful turntable. Oh my god! It well, there's like a lot of beautiful turntables out there. You oh. see, Rob Baudry's got a piece of work, but they're engineering. It's been said that some of the most complex engineering um, uh, products that you may own in your home are turntables because they're uh, modern turntables are built to such exacting standards. There's a lot of uh, super space, uh, uh, super advanced, uh, uh, you know, uh, carbon uh, products and this sort of thing, um, uh, composite uh, products. So that's all there. Liam Molyneux writes, you think the recent Floyd by Bellman sound good? Do you collect the originals? I recently completed the task. The originals in another universe, but otherwise. Oh, I agree with you. I understand that, Liam. How much does a pristine mint 1973 Dark Side of the Moon go for? Or Piper at the Gates of Dawn? Or oh, Side of the Hold on. I've had, or metal? I found US, I have US originals. I want UK. It's my originals. understanding yeah. that the reissues were done by Bernie Grubman, the 2016. Or well, I think I don't know. I think they're uh, I think they're Chris Bellman's. Well, I know they're part of the same company. Team but... or factory house. No, oh, there's a big it's... hype sticker. I saw because I have an, a U.S. Yeah. original of uh, the Wall. I sold my reissue that says Bernie Grumman on it. On uh, you can pick up a Dark Side of the Moon turntable project. They were done by Bernie Grumman, says Aggie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the twenties and forties. Maybe, maybe Liam, Liam got some other bands' albums, and he thought this. Well, uh, Bellman, probably, like you said, Rob. Though I think Bellman cut him. I think that's what the story is on them. Uh, dark German Dark Side of the Moon, sound of value wise. Okay, Liam, give me a price on a German pristine because when you buy these brand new ones, they've never been played, so you're getting a pristine record. Get, how much is a mint? Uh, Dark Side of the Moon, German pressing co co cost, right? Like, that's what I want to I know. mean, Rachel, I picked up a mint US OG of the wall for $20. Uh, yeah, but you want to get that in the UK. You want to uh, get, I, I mean, it's it sounds really good to me. It's like the Beatles, like, I can I can pick up first pressing US, like, uh, you know, uh, Meet the Beatles and Hard Day's Night, really good quality records. For 30 bucks. But if I want a, a UK press, then we're starting to pay. Well, I mean, I've, I've, I've picked up later UK presses of the Beatles right. stuff. So Liam goes, I paid 40 euros. So you got to double that for Canada, right? 40 euros to Canadian. So I got to do my translation on that. 40 euros to Canadian. Let's see what that would cost us, Johnny. So that would be uh 60 bucks here 58.95 40 euros equals 58 60 bucks so about 20 bucks more well i got you got these things when i bought my 2014s 20 uh i was getting them for or 2016 i picked them up for like oh, 30 bucks rachel 30 i'm get, i'm going to look the i think doug Sachs might have done the u.s original of the wall yeah it's the mastering lab but I'm not 100% sure on that. Sounds really good. Uh, Bill's different than the wall. Yeah, true. Uh, by the time of the wall, probably sound the same UK or US. I would disagree. I think always it's it, it, depending where they recorded it, the first, wherever, generally the rule of thumb is you go where they were recorded. Well, wait, is Patrick around? Patrick. Patrick. Can you well, where is Patrick now? Because he was in. He went and met the guys. Doing yeah, the but he's he he probably drove home that night. It's not a far drive for him. Yeah. 
I uh, just got the super audio CD. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, oh my God, uh, miss you. That's a crazy comment. So, Reggie, you don't like Pink Floyd at all? Why don't you like Pink Floyd? What's the problem with the Floyd? Floyd's great. But it, all, all I'm trying to say is that you know you can if you're out there, you don't have the access to all this stuff. You're going to have to go online and trust somebody on Discogs to get a German pressing. I mean, how, or you go to the OBC, I guess, an organization like that, and then you can get your copy. Okay, there's the Bob Bradley putting his mindset. Out. Yeah, he's saying the U.S. version is a beast. It's great. Yeah, it's, it, it. it. It really. If I blindfolded you, Rachel, it sounds amazing. Well, which is the reference one though? Which is the one to get? What is the world's best sounding? Wall, 19, what, 1976, the wall. What's the world's best pressing of the wall? Where do I go? All right. Ask Patrick. He should know. Uh, I think Mike at Ingroup prefers the U.S. at the wall. He's got a great he, system. He did, I think he, I don't know, he do a shootout of the wall? I know he did Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, moving Pictures, Half Speed Master. I know uh, Patrick is not big on uh, moving pictures that came out of this box set. This is Rush. This is a great, I got this for a great price, so, so uh, I'm very happy to get picked this up, moving pictures. And plus, I didn't have an OG of it, so nice to have that in the collection. But he says it's not the best. Uh, now, David at Safe and Sound is an audiophile of some repute. He says the UK of the wall will defeat the United States pressing, in his humble opinion. So... You know, but what's the reference point? I mean, you know, what is the cons is there is there a consensus on that album, right? I'm very curious about that. Rufus Cat, I think the show would be better if we showed a cartoon once. Well, listen, Rufus Cat. Uh, uh, German or UK, a version issued for the military regarded to be the very best. So uh, if for the wall, you want either, is it the wall we're talking about? German, UK. The version issue from the military, we're going to be the best. Okay, there you go. And we've got our Norwegians are talking their Norwegian language back to each other. And uh, all the wall, Liam's talking about the wall. So if you want the wall, the generally it's regarded as either a German pressing or the UK. And it was uh, issued for the military, I guess. Uh, the U.S. vinyl is noisier, which hurts an LP like the wall. Well, yeah, uh, Paul, I don't know which version you got, David, but mine is not noisy at all. Well, I guess it would have been pressed at different plants, too. Right? Uh, like, I'll go pull my copy out and tell you where. Like, you know, the usual Pittman, Monarch, you know, all this yeah. sort of thing. Los Angeles, Tear Hot, you know, all that. Tear Hope, I guess. Um. The full uh, Toronto concert on the Rush Box is stellar, even better than Exit Stage Left. Wow. I praise indeed, Darren. Rachel, you go on and on. Roll the airplane clip. Holy smokes. Uh, the UK and the US are both uh, TML. What's the, the music, something or other? TML? The, ma the Mastering Lab. The Mastering Lab. Thanks, Rob. Right here. Here's my copy right here. All right. There you go. Beautiful copy here. The Mastering Lab. This is a Terra Hut pressing. Yeah, Terra ter Hut, Terra Hut. Terra Hut. Uh, we are north of center in Waco, Texas. And Johnny's back. Johnny, do you like Pink Floyd, Johnny? Yeah, I have, um, yeah I, I have a Dark Side of the Moon. I've had it for a long, long time. Album. Uh, Arnie goes, the best Floyd record is Dark Side of the Moon. It's my fa personal favorite, that one. But, you know, because it was my introduction, 15 years old, 1973. That album comes out. Money's on the radio, The you know, with the uh, slot machine. You know, all that. Love that. Saw Pink Floyd uh, with the Division Bell Tour in 1994. A lot of fun. They were great. And... Uh, Go it ahead. was a big, uh, like uh, on when Michael Nolan, when we were on, I was on his thing, uh, he was talking about it. There was a lot of big controversy, or not a controversy, but about uh, Waters um, 
making a, a remaking the, the dark side oh, of the moon, yeah, but yeah, yeah. El eliminating you know the clock sound, like eliminating some sounds that came from the original, which um, I didn't like particularly. I don't, I don't didn't like how he eliminated some of those sounds from the original. Oh album. yeah, it's a bit of a vanity project. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is uh, a little bit of ego playing, having its sway. But he, plus, he makes more money doing it, reissuing it, and so all the money comes to him. So he's happy about that. Uh, Rach, do any of your conspiracy theorist friends have any concerns about today's eclipse? Nobody. I'm talking to Joey. It's like a, we've had eclipses before. How many eclipses have we had? Right? Mm -hmm. We've had full total eclipse of the sun before. And it's, so it's never a deal. Uh, both the U.S. and the U.K. were the, what is it, the music lab, Rob? Is that what it is? Both the U.S. and the U.K. were the same lab for it. Come so on, people. Pat Patrick, people which, which version is considered the best? Yeah, what is universally acclaimed as the best sounding? Liam says that you want to get either a U.K. or a British pressing because uh, they were... Uh, published for the military, and they're regarded as being the best versions of the wall. Germany, UK, a version issued for the military. So anyway, PB Thal, if you can join us, help us out. We're talking some pressings. Also, PB Thal, big investment on my part. One, you know, they're all here, this double album. But you can see these are the... AC, I got uh, oh. thanks to Patrick. I got a U.S. first press of that, but uh, boom! Look at the, look at that vinyl. That's nice. Yeah, it's a gorgeous presentation, Beautiful. and they're just loaded up with tons of stickers. So I oh. got nine albums. I bought all nine. I'm really happy with them. Uh, I'm very pleased with uh, with what they are, and well, uh, that's what counts. Yeah, well, that's the end yeah. of the day, right? Yeah, right. So uh, and that's, nice. and now to Daniel. Folks, if you want a, an interesting channel to subscribe to, a lot of fun. Uh, Nathaniel's a really good guy, and he's got a big channel. Uh, I don't know how many people he's got right now, but he's a really, really nice gentleman, and he always uh, speaks very kindly of our, our show here. I also got this one. But uh, I got all nine of them. Uh, they're going to be releasing more in the year, so it'll be interesting to hear what Patrick uh, thinks about it. This our George Marinos, they aren't the best. Uh, you want to get the Australian pressings for them, but they are what they are. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. You know, there's something uh, about boom. there's something about co colored vinyl. I just love colored vinyl. <laughs> well, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's novel. Uh, you know, it, ideally, I guess you just want to get for sound quality. You want to get the first pressings wherever possible. Mm. And most of my collection is first pressings. But I'm going to say this that it's really nice to have a mix too. Sometimes it's just a real pleasure to put on a nice quiet record that, you know, it doesn't have any crackle, any pop, mm -hmm. and it's right. very nice and relaxing. Brad doesn't like colored vinyl at all. But some is uh, really, uh, yeah, Powerage is great, very underrated. Malcolm Young himself saying that that album, he felt it was underrated. The, the only thing I, the only thing about colored vinyl is the problem is, is when you're finding, when you're putting the needle down, sometimes you can't see, you know, the the dead wax uh, along where you want to hear the sound, the, the music, if you know what I mean. Like yeah. if you put the needle down on a black wax, you cannot know where exactly where the needle would go. But with colored vinyl, sometimes you, it's hard to find the uh, the beginning of the song that you want. Think is the color of the vinyl. Oh, if you're trying to needle drop it, go ahead, yeah. Rob. Oh, Rob, you're muted again. You're muting yourself a lot because you're doing stuff. Yeah, Rachel, two things here. First is black is colored vinyl. Correct. Vinyl is clear, it's not a color. Secondly, don't you know the best thing that happened from the auction, Rachel? What's the best thing? I now know what the L stands for in Johnny L. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead. And if Johnny don't think we'll mind, we'll say it stands for Lindberger, like the cheese. <laughs> oh, my Lindberger. God. Um, some U.S. vessels are still <laughs> suffering from recycled material with labels chopped up when the wall was released back then. Uh, when Elvis released his final studio album called Booty Blue, great album, 77, 
it was released as a blue color LP. It was released in two forms, blue and black. That's right. Mm -hmm. Paradoxically, it was the blue one that was in mass uh, accessibility. That's what most people have. The black one is the one that draws a higher coin if you want to get a copy of it. Yeah, I, I have the black one. I have, I have the I'll black one. I'll tell you something. I don't that's know. One, that's the, that one's worth more than the blue. If you go pick up some original Pacific Jazz titles, they yeah. press them in red vinyl. And those sound amazing. Yeah, and we've had... Hey, some uh, hey can ahead. you highlight Liam Mukuku's uh, comment? Yeah, Here's mom. another nugget. You're a moron. All right, let's not hurt Liam. Now, the thing is, is with the, the vinyl... It's actually like a fleshy kind of color when it comes out. It's like a, a plastically nondescript kind of pinkish tinge, goopy stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, they press that, and then they add the chips in that make it black or whatever color. Are you describing Chicken McNuggets? I'm describing Chicken McNuggets. They look like Chicken McNuggets. There's, there's that uh, British chef, Jamie Oliver. He does a video where he shows you how Chicken Nuggets are made. It's kind of gross. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. I bought a red, a red Rush uh, Hemispheres album, sealed, and even for back then it was dead quiet. Well, that can be nice. Matt is like that up. He's got his Contiki his, uh, logo with that. Now, I know what uh, Matt Bastardson's real name is. Do you want to know what that is? it is, Rachel? Yes. We love Matt. It's, uh, it's Monahue Liam. Um. That well, mm -hmm. I just make it my oh, head. Uh, Elvis is Promised Land for 75 is a great album. I've got that in my collection, uh, Nathaniel, both on CD as part of the uh, massive Elvis box set, and then I've also got it uh, in the uh, on vinyl. So I've got a Canadian first pressing on that, Nathaniel. A uh, very nice album, and in fact, uh, I don't need colored vinyl. Well, you know, your mileage will vary, right. Colored vinyl in the 70s, generally horrible, much better today. Well, they perfected some of the recipes for putting these together, and uh, so they aren't as problematic. I tell you, some albums are just absolutely beautiful. Um, Leon Gullert, who we had on the program a couple of weeks ago, his new album, Comfort, beautiful red, uh, blood red with some black put in. Very nice indeed. You know who does great colored vinyl? Project Gemini. Project Gemini has done excellent uh, colored vinyl releases. Yeah. Uh, because of their cover. Wow. Uh, for me, the greatest Rush record is Signals. That's my favorite too. But that's the one where I have a little history with. 1982. Uh, it's it's a great album. A lot of a lot of good songs. Subdivisions, my favorite Rush song. That's on there. For example, there's Moody Blue. Pull the pull the album up. So, folks, for this album, Moody Blue, look at that. That's so that's the one you want. You want the black vinyl on that. The blues are actually more prevalent than the uh, black. So that's a nice record you got, Johnny. It's a, yeah, it's an excellent shape. Um, I had it for a long time. Wow, I can't believe Rachel is letting the source of Johnny House incredible anger go out of dress. Listen, Miss You, I don't want you firing up Johnny. Okay. This young man does not to be fired up. Uh 13th floor elevator splatter color looks like a crime scene. It sounds great, says Matt. You know, um Hemispheres for the best. I've heard 13th floor elevators original records and all the reissues sound like shit next to them. Be well. Then the tapes go missing or something. They're all usually digital, right? No, no, no. like they say that, but I, I don't think that's true. I think they just didn't authorize to use them. I don't know. It's fucked up. I mean, what was the last official 13th Floor Elevators release? Uh, last year, uh, there was a like retro store. They... Yeah, but how's that sound? Um, Chris says that it sounds good. But not as good as, you know. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking for Bat Bastards, and apparently he's got some comedy going in the Peanut Gallery. Hate to miss one liners in Peanut Gallery. They're funny. So what was Matt talking about? I miss it. I'm trying to find it, but it's way back there. Anyway, pretty funny. I just want to shout out to my wife, Rhonda. She. She sometimes oh, okay. watches the show. Yeah. Yes. Hi, and Rhonda. She likes, she likes the show. So. Oh, I'm glad she does. Well, bless Rhonda. Well, just uh, keep an eye on me too, so I'm not. I'm being nice. You are always. 
We're always uh, asking. Obviously, Rhonda didn't keep an eye on you during my auction, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, see, oh, Bill, what she... you had is the one that everybody had because that was the one in widest circulation. The one Johnny has, they didn't press as many. Rachel, uh, do you listen to Christmas music in April? Not, no, I generally don't. I'm rather seasonally, um, you know, limited. Bright Eyes, a Christmas album. Who is that guy? What's his name? That's Bright Eyes. Connor Orbis. What other band is he in? He's in a band with... Um, Adley Drum um, Boy. No? No, he's in a band with uh, Phoebe Bridgers. Who's badly drawn boy then? That he's an English guy that wears a beanie like this. Yeah, but he's in two bands though, right? Uh -oh, yeah, right. But he's definitely not the same guy. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, hey, um, everyone, please understand this. This is Fred Dobbs being homophobic. Hey, Dobbs, do you want to go fishing later with me? Maybe we can go fishing together. You know, yeah. I've seen a video of Dobbs playing guitar, and he he knows how to shred that shit. So that's all I'm going to say. About it. Fishing, Dobbs. Do you want to go fishing? You know, uh, he, won't, he won't be able to answer now. Oh um, well, he'll create another fake account. But fishing, Dobbs. I think Johnny L would like this uh, album. It's like if crooner music was cool. Oh. So is he a crooner, uh, Jose? Yeah, does does Janiel has a crooner hat? Yes. Oh. Well, well I, I don't that know if crooner hat, but uh, yeah. uh, another album. Yeah, Grand Funk Railroad. I remember American Band was on gold vinyl. Oh, another one yeah. that came out early seventies. Uh, uh, Deep Purple, Made in Japan, was a double mm -hmm. album on uh, gold uh, vinyl. Uh, yeah, Rachel, are you excited that uh, um, Dirty Three is going to release a new record? Okay, uh, well, so what are they called? The Dirty Three? Yeah, dir Dirty Three. Oh my gosh. Okay, tell me about these kids. It's uh, one of the members of uh, um, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Okay. And uh, he plays the violin. Oh, interesting. We got, uh, Nick Cave's good. I like Nick Cave. Sue and I both enjoy Nick Cave. This is, this is better than... My, my problem with Nick Cave is that the last... Six records, they all sound the fucking same. And this new, there's like a trailer for the new record, and it sounds the fucking same. But uh, Warren Ellis, who joined late 90s, yeah, uh, the Bad Seeds, uh, Warren Ellis from Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, yes. Warren Ellis, yes, yes, Warren Ellis, um, is gonna release a record, but I think you would like it. It's like it's like uh, instrumental, but it's just um. A guitar, drums, and uh, a violin, and it's uh, what the fuck? Uh uh. Well, yeah, is some criticism for you. Like the, the the Nick Cave that I like. Yes. Uh, it's not there anymore, my guy. It's not like there, my guy. Once we do, my guy, you know you're in trouble. Here's a question. Um, yeah. Who is who is who who considers Oh, like ooh, everybody ooh, else there. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. Uh, uh, yeah, doo wop things kicking in. Um, who, who uh, what uh, guitarist is the best guitarist on the planet? Um, who would, uh, would think that? Guitarist? Uh, Rush, Rush Limbo. <laughs> no, like, uh, I don't, I don't think, it, I you know, I think it's it, 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 it kind of depends because I'm not smart enough to know that someone's technically really knows his shit and how diverse someone is uh, no one in the ramones <laughs> yeah but uh, some people might say some jazz guitarists are the best some people yeah, rock. yeah it's kind of uh there are there are classical yeah. guitarists yeah there's a lot yeah, of them I think, out there actually. Johnny, i think it's a false equivalency one of the most interesting uh guitar duos that i was ever uh, exposed to in a concert setting steve howe uh going head to head with Trevor Rabin. Trevor Rabin, extremely fast. You can watch, there's a kid on the internet playing the Yes song called Changes, the intricacy of that piece of music. But it's also, you require some hand speed with that. And so Rabin's playing super fast. While he's doing that, Steve Howe's on the opposite side. 
playing incredibly intricate, difficult phrasings on guitar. So the two of them going head to head. So at the end of the day, what I'm saying in all this, a long story, a little longer, I don't think you can ever say who's best. It's yeah, like saying who's, who's, right. who's the best boxer just, on the planet. It's just you when you when know. you yeah when you well, when you mentioned when you mentioned uh um rush oh, limbo uh, no um that grew uh <laughs> machine head what the hell was that deep purple um, deep purple when you mission when you mentioned deep purple which i had a long long time ago i don't have nowhere but i was thinking of richie blackmore that's why but yeah, richie yeah, blackmore guitar player richie richie blackmore thing, he plays like, like um re like renaissance music now at fairs yeah, like, does. Uh, yeah. that, like Van said, Eddie Van Halen, who I think is incredible, but yeah, he, he developed is. a technique that no, that it was kind of unique to him. Although yeah. he taught his son, it it's, looks called, like, it's called boring as fuck. It that, looks that, like he's uh, taught his son how to replicate it perfectly. But you, you know, know everyone, my problem with, with my problem with like those, the skill level you need to make those solos is amazing. Like you have to be like such a great guitar player to make. But it's so fucking boring. It's like Steve Vai playing. He was in Frank Zappa's band, and I love Frank Zappa. But the my problem with Steve A is like there's no fuck, there's no soul. It's like Joe Bonamassa type shit. It's horrible. Yeah. But um, but like I've seen Joe Bonamassa live. I mean, it was impressive. But um, yeah, but it's so boring. It's like all the, but the like I I like and... Neil Sean from Journey. I think that guy's crazy good. But it's you know, yeah, you're so right, Rob. And at the end of the mm -hmm. day, it, what's maybe it's telling Johnny what the question is misdirected for all of us is because it gets us to look in one direction and not another. For example, Angus Young, yeah. who's a fair guitarist, nobody he never reaches the, yeah. the best mm -hmm. of anything. Like, Sue and I were watching him yesterday, and it was so entertaining to see that kid Chuck Berry his way across the stage. He was so entertaining, so much mm -hmm. fun. His facial gestures, it's entertaining. I just loved it. And the guitar rocks. It's still yeah, bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's just rock. Can you put up Nasty Nathaniel? Nasty Nathaniel. Uh, can you please down that? I think he's... Ha oh, yes. Jose is here. Can you tell me that? Thanks. I think he's handsome. Jose, mm -hmm. you're very handsome. Hey, hey, Jose, can you blow some kisses to him, please? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was like, can you make an effort Nathan at least for your a, fan Nathan base? Needs a hug. Okay, Nathaniel's a really nice guy. You'd like him. Okay, well, now what do we got here? This is a quiero, quiero bonito. Quiero, quiero bonito. You know I'm, what a bonito is, Rachel? Yeah, bonita is a pretty. No, you, but you know what a bonito is? Is it like a little tiny little record? No, it's a fish. It's a type of fish. It's a bonito fish. Oh, Rachel, uh -oh. I'm not big. I'm not big on people saying they were underappreciated, but you know who I don't think gets enough is the guy from Mario Speedwagon, Rich Rath. That guy, Rich Rath from uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. No, he was a very big drunk, and he, that's why he got kicked out of the band. And he, oh, no. he was an alcoholic, mm. but well, his style was very distinctive. And different. Rachel, what's your favorite song from Rocky Horror Picture Show? Oh man, there's so many. Uh, Jesus, uh, God, they're so good. I mean, what a great musical. Uh, oh, rock. Um, I guess, uh, you know, the time warp is big. Uh, the, you know, it's just a step to the left. And then I like the old 50s, Johnny. You'd like that when Eddie is yeah. eating at the mm -hmm. feast. Eddie the Biker Meatloaf's appearance. The Hot Patootie Blast of My Soul. I really love that rock and roll. I'm a sweet trans transvestite from the planet transsexual. I mean, that's pretty from powerful. Transylvania. Oh, transsexual Transylvania? Yes. That remember, is a good one. Remember, Rachel, uh, a lot, how back then when all the people used to go and watch this and, and dress up like all car kind of characters yeah. and go in you the know, aisles? And go in. I took Sue to that movie. That was the first movie we saw as a, <laughs> as a yeah. young couple. It was something. <laughs> yeah, the Time Warp is, is a mm. fantastic song. You know, funny enough, I, uh, you know, this version, it's uh, yeah. not complete. And then this is the double record with okay, the whole Okay, what song. happened with that? Yeah. Okay, so what song's missing? Um, a lot of them. I think on this one, the sword of Democles is not here. I can make you a man. I think it's not here. Yeah. 
I think uh, I can uh, yeah, I can make you a man reprise. You don't need that shit. Eddie. Yeah, Eddie. So Wild and on team. Yeah. But I'm going home for real. I think it's a beautiful song. Do you know the most beautiful music I've ever heard in concert? My jaw was just open, jaw dropping. Was yes when I saw nine one two five when they did the song, uh, you and I. I was just uh, because I knew the album so well. Turn around, oh, Eden. Turn around, bright eyes. Look at that. Uh, so yes, but also uh, for guitar playing, uh, Joe Walsh doing Rocky Mountain Way. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Him, yeah. Seeing <laughs> him perform that live, you could hear a pin drop. Everybody you know, just, you know, because it's a concert. When you know, he went, everybody shut the hell up, and we just the whole audience focused. It was a remarkable think, moment in a concert. For Rachel, you think, be able to see the, thing, the thing is, the thing is, what as soon as you heard the first chord, you knew it. Da, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you uh, heard the first, the first, it hooks you right in. That's good. You huh? knew it. Oh yeah, it's just like. Uh, fuck that manosphere shit. Hey, Rachel, um, are you going to watch the, I mean, not stare at the fucking sun, but yeah. is where you're at, Nanaimo, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is the eclipse going to be like full? I don't know if it's going to be in our hemisphere. I don't know if we have access. Yeah. I don't believe we, we're getting any part of it. Well, this is the shit I'm playing while, while the, the thing well, happens. That happens for you? Assault, Garvin, uh, assault on Precinct 13. I've seen the movie. You like it? Yeah, it was fun. Is that the one with uh, Paul Newman? No. He did one. Yeah, Paul Newman did one like that. Assault on Precinct Assault. He is? No, I don't think that. Really. He's on one of those uh, Precinct. I just got to remember it. Doo -doo -doo. Paul Newman. It has the, it has the fog. I don't know why I have this. Like somebody Fort gave me this. Fort Apache, the Bronx is the Fort Apache. That's right. That was a good movie. Doo -doo -doo. The Fog. You like The Fog? Uh, the Fog. Uh, is, who did that? Is that even King? John Carpenter. Oh, John, John Carpenter as well. Okay. Uh, Rachel, have you? You know, I'm not a Yes fan, right? But yeah. there's a there's a song called Onward that um that <clears throat> and the Mark Noslek from um, Red House Painters, uh, Sun Kill Moon covers. And I yeah. think it's as beautiful as it gets. Uh, DJ, uh, uh, Mr. Joel, Joel says Precinct 13 is actually amazing. So, hi. This, uh, hi I, think, I think you would like this soundtrack as well. Oh, the Halloween's, yeah. That was kind of interesting. No, but this is the Rob Zombie's uh, Halloween. Okay. But you will like this. Uh, let me read the songs here. Blue Oyster Cult, Don't Fear yeah. the Reaper, right? Yeah. Mm. Love Hurts by Nazareth. Yeah. Maybe I Love Your Way by Peter Frampton. Tom yeah. Sawyer, Rush. Yeah. Let It Ride, the Backman yeah. Turner Overdrive. God of Thunder by Kiss, 1969 by Iggy yeah. Pop. Mm. Only Women Bleed, Alice Cooper. Yeah. Halloween 2 by The Misfits. You know what's funny about that? I've got everything you've mentioned there except the misfits. I don't have any misfits in the collection. Yeah, but you, but you would like this. Album? Other, I've got the original albums on which those other songs appear, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Jose, you need a hug. Nobody's talking about the manosphere except him. Uh, tomato. No, I'm just taking my on. extra time that I have on this earth to uh, <laughs> tell people that are misogynistic to go fuck Jeez. themselves. But that's yeah. just me. I, yeah. I, I don't want to stand uh, for misogyny. Well, you're feisty. I mean, you're a feisty cat there. Jose. No, I just, wh why would I want to hang out with people that are assholes? Uh, no, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, well, that's what Oh, hey, Jose. That happens every day here, man. <laughs> Jose, thinks yeah, the yeah, right. Jose thinks the world's going to end in a couple minutes or something like that. No, I'm not going to say I don't Actually, say that. Jose, I saw this morning that. They recalculated the path of the eclipse, All right. Good. And a lot of these small, tiny towns are making a cash windfall because people are descending on them, yeah. and they've had like a year to prepare. Yeah. There's like one in town in Oklahoma. They recalculate the path two miles difference, 
Oh, all right. That's oh, about yeah. Well, that's yeah. you know here here in um, uh, like an hour, like two hours away from here. That NASA put up a uh, observatory. That's really random, right? Like in the middle of the desert here in. Uh, that's not Rome. random. It, they it is like why would they come here to mexico because to they it? calculated that that exact point is beneficial for what they need to say no random in the sense that it's just a small town you know I well, understand. so they built an observatory are you saying yeah yeah they did the, the reason they do it is of course they have to get away from city light right so often these observatories are all up on mountains or you know on hills away from city lights because the lights from the city uh, uh, create a, a oh, that's uh, a city, that's a city, all right. But uh, light that you're able to, so they want as dark a setting as you can get. It's the same uh principle as when any city dweller, and this is what's really remarkable about ancient civilized that's a great movie. Uh, civilizations is that we're all in our city lights and stuff. You get out in the country and you see at night, you see the Milky Way galaxy, and you go, My god. As you look towards the center of our galaxy, it's absolutely Natural. astounding uh, visually. And you can understand why ancient cultures are so enamored of the canopy above because of the of the situation there. Uh, Matt, who is a devotee of the hobby, the passion of studying and does uh, uh, photography, light pollution is a real thing. If you have a telescope, you want to be yep. in as dark and, and isolated, remote a region as possible to cut down all those lights. That's and great. Uh, so do you like naturally you live close enough where we can get out of the way and do it? Yeah, on the movie, uh, it was great with Jack Black in there. Very funny. That was a that was a crappy movie. <laughs> what? What? I enjoyed what it. What the fuck I are you talking like, about, Johnny L? This I is a, didn't like this is a, Libre. A, a work of I, art. Of but I don't like I don't really like Jack Black. Uh, okay, know. let's rock and roll with PB Thal. Mersbo is boring I mean, as fuck. That's it's boring it's fine if you don't like Mersbo, but it's not boring as fuck because that it's shit. It's boring is as fuck. fuck. Anything that's called noise is boring as fuck. Nah, yeah, that's not true. That's not Patrick, true. You, you'd rather listen to fucking like like the wind coming through your fucking car as you're going 80 miles an hour than Eddie Van Halen. Yes. Something's seriously wrong with you. Yes. But, <laughs> So, I mean, I would rather more take power to you, yeah, more power, and, but more power to you. Like, you I know? would literally want to see the piece of shit I shed yesterday in the toilet than listening to uh, Eddie Van Halen sing anything or play anything ever again. You know, <laughs> I, I pe people actually make audiologist appointments for having sound like Merzbau puts in their ears. I mean, people literally go to the doctor because I think something's fucking wrong with them oh, because no. of Merzbau. Yeah, Lynch. They go, they go to the doctor and like, hey. Uh, I think I'm Patrick, fucked. You're, oh, you're a you're a Eddie Van Halen fan. In the yeah. benefit of helping out the vinyl community, yeah. uh, the, I may have been, stepped into another uh, Queen box set situation. This is the fifth. Why did you buy that? I love it. I love it. It's uh, digital. It's George Marino. Uh, it you know Marino. Get, Ma Marino. George, George, George Marino died like ten years ago. He did, died in 2012. These are the 2003 masters. What? Uh, to work. <laughs> so, so the, this is this is not anything new. No, 2003. The only thing new about it is that they're beautifully packaged, mm. and I don't have them all. Thanks to you, Patrick, I actually have a couple of U.S. pressings, and I just bought this myself, a Canadian first press. I'm going to tell you something. They've embossed all the packaging. They've spared no expense to recreate. How, 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 how much was that, there. George Marino? Uh, these ones here are fifty bucks each. Fifty dollars. You get an original power. You get an original. You get an original for that. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, you can if you hunt it down. But again, the the vinyl's pristine. There's not a. It's very quiet. It's beautifully presented, and it's just. I, I just loved it. And so yeah, now I I've got an original, and I've got a gorgeous sounding. Um, for those about to rock, we salute you. A Canadian first press, it's great, but I paid what 30 bucks for that by itself. So, you Thanks know, so it, 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 this in my prices in my area, Patrick. So, is that just one record in that in that fifth for that $50? Is that one just one record? One record. You're just recreating the original thing. Rachel, you could okay. have feed like like six dying children here. If, if I know. True. 
Yeah, you, could kill, you could kill six dying children by playing the Merse Bell. So yeah, yeah you could I, have I, actually, I, yeah. There's nine of them. There's nine You're of them. You're not going to be able to trick me. Uh, and we're do, we're doing God's you. work here by deciding how we kill children. Um, <laughs> Rachel, do you like this commie mo movie? Um, yeah, I've seen it. It was the Rum Diaries or Motorcycle Diaries. No, the, the Rum Diaries. No, that's. The Have you seen the Rum Diaries? You know the Rum. Yeah, yeah, the Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Wyoming Dave. Robert Ludwig did Bad Black. Seen Andy, Andy also did. Uh, for those about to rock, we salute you. Have you seen Frank? You would like this, Rachel. I think. I uh, I think I saw the Motorcycle Diaries. Uh, no, 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 Frank. Oh yeah, Frank. Uh, what's his name? Frank. What's the full name of the guy? Pan, whatever. But yeah, he's a UK uh, character. Uh, passed away uh, a few this years. Is the, ago. Yeah, this is the guy, uh, Chris Seavey. Did he pass away from listening to Mersbell? Oh no. Okay, he died know. from that nipple being exposed. You are uh -oh. freaked out. Okay. No sex. No Go sex, down. Jose. Oh, oh, let, let's be let's be fair, Patrick. Jose, yes. how much money have you made off of Mersbell? A lot of money. There you go. That's why he's a fan. So that's I got a from Sunrise. They're twenty bucks. Oh, you know what? I, so you're I just like a you're just a you're just a capitalist at heart, Jose. I get it. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm a social democrat. <laughs> so Rachel, I was actually surrounded by Riga fans yesterday, and they were okay. fucking inundating me with Riga bullshit all fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to show you something here that just oh, fuck. Yeah. This is a total record. I own a total record. Which one? Oh, yeah. I don't want I'm this good. shit. Well, then get rid of it, dude, because heaven forbid Toto Toto aren't good musicians either. I am, Patrick, I got something here for you to see that will just astound you. Okay. Uh, oops. Mm. Let me do this. Let me go here. Let me share. Good. This is Amazon. This is Amazon.ca. Check yeah. this, Patrick. Does it have anything to do with Jose and Candy? That's what I want to know. Eighty-seven dollars. Oh, that's, wow. that's on Amazon. I mean, why that's don't you look for, Why you look that, for used records on Amazon? I got. It's not used. That's brand new. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So well, I, don't your, I, I, I don't see your powerage on there. Oh, I've got it. Oh uh, no! Well, I didn't. Holy crap! What I did is I picked up all nine of them, Patrick. Oh, you picked up all nine ACDC albums? Yeah. So you spent four hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, four seventy eight with uh, tax. Oh my God, Ooh. Rachel! Yeah. What are you doing? So, uh, oh, what are you so that's right. So here's that's my. Not, that's not. That, that's not even the cool cover. So eighty seven. No, 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 like, 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 like you could have gone in like uh, the original uh, Australian version. Hey, I don't. Uh, I, 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 don't I don't know uh, if I could talk to you anymore today, Rachel. Uh, hey, yeah. wait, wait. So hold on one second. How does Liam know how much tampax cost? Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, but to get a pristine one, and especially if you're you never bought. A lady Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Like, let, let me respond to Nick Tronic. Hey, I know okay. people have different tastes. My taste is, is that I don't agree that Eddie Van Halen is boring, bud. So there you go. You know, it's like, <laughs> I'm talking. They aren't reflective. You know what's of more exciting than Eddie Van Halen? Your shit this morning? Besides Brian shit of well, hold yes. on. Let me let me address uh, this, Rachel. You shouldn't use the Amazon price. Say so you got a good deal. I'm not saying I got a good deal. I'm saying for me and what's available in my area. What the fuck am I going to do, Brad? Go to America and then pay forty bucks for it to be shipped to me through some independent third person seller? Fuck that noise. So, hey, Rachel, you you, you tell them. them. You you tell them, Rachel. You tell so them. Let me, my concern. For my dollar, for what it was, it's great. Nick Trotic, if you don't like Eddie Van Halen, that's fine. I can just disagree. Just because I disagree as vehemently as you as you as you say that the Eddie Van Halen sucks, no. just because I disagree no. just as vehemently as you support no. your statement doesn't I'm make just, me any I'm worse just, than you. It doesn't if matter. If Nazi was here, he would tell the whole story of why this album's called seven hundred uh seventy hundred or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And the, I would uh, say, Paul, yes, Mazzy. Peter <laughs> Paul and Mary. I mean, uh, I, mean I, I, I think I know Jose well enough to sit there and have this conversation mm -hmm. with him and not take it personally. You know, I don't well, think I, Jose's I don't... taking it personally. I don't take it personally. So you, why you would anyone else in the peanut gallery take All right, hold on, hold on, you guys. It's my turn to go after gas masks. Now sit back Johnny, and relax. Johnny, you would love this jazz record. I, Rob. Yeah, Rob. 
I came on here specifically to say yeah, the yeah. choice of Neil Sean, absolutely awesome. Well, I know it might seem like I don't know my shit, but I'm an old dude. Yeah, there's my well, you did, say, you you did, you did say Sammy Hagar was metal, kind of. So. I did. I I probably said it jokingly. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Know. There's no yeah, way that Sammy, Sammy Hagar. He doesn't. <laughs> Sammy Hagar sounds like he's always in a rush to take a shit, but he doesn't because he's a gentleman. Wait, wait, wait. Who are you? How how do you decipher Look, shit what, takers? Who, do you hang out in your bathrooms? I, I got in an argument with Jeff last night because they wanted to get freaking Johnny Me Young on a top five bass player poll. I mean, shit. Well, you know? we all know <laughs> the best guitar player is John Paul Jones in the world. So yeah. So yeah, I mean, th this this was nothing compared to the argument I had last night with people me. on my own stream that, that I see talk to every other day uh, about on. this stuff. Hey, so this is hey, what people Jeff, do. They Jeff. argue about music for you know, What's no that? one takes it personally. Jeff, they should how do you feel about Steve Stevens? I think Steve Stevens is great, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's See, I know my player. shit. Yeah, great guitar player, man. Uh, I mean, Billy his Idol. shit his shit with Billy Idol is really good, but it's more pop rock oriented. If you go check out stuff like Levin's, Bozio Stevens, yeah. Black Light yeah. Syndrome, I think yeah. it's well, called. You talking, yeah, you were talking about uh, uh, Michael. Liquid Ten no, he's, he's not like yeah. tension experiment. Jeff, you were talking about Dirty Dan the other day. That's one you like. Dirty yeah. Dan. Yeah. That's great. That's a great ripping track, man. Yeah. Well, I got that. I got that. Is that the box set? T for the Tillerman. So why don't they reissue Teaser and the Firecat, which is a great record too? I don't understand why they don't redo Teaser and the Firecat. Ooh, baby, hey, I have the. That's uh, not. That's not Peter have, Frampton, dude. That's not fucking Cat <laughs> Stevens. I have. I, just you. I, just you. I have that. I have the person Patrick says you should have. I oh my that, God, Jose! That was classic. I have the monarch. I have the monarch crossing. You were trying to do people. Wild World, and you ended up with fucking Baby, I Love Your Way. Yeah, that was classic. Yeah, <laughs> There's the box, the box set, but it's oh, uh, it's man. it's the vinyl and five CDs and a Blu-ray, I think, yeah, nice. which I, I haven't even hilarious. got through half of. Yeah, hey, I I have to leave, but it was lovely arguing and calling. It's okay, Nicktronic. You know, I mean, I mean, I I can get how you, Rob. people people, Rob, people think that you know we're actually we're actually mad at each other. Right. Right. Rob, you know, I, I, I don't I don't do yeah. cocaine, but if I did and. I would do it to this Beaches record. All right, and then you yeah. see, then you take a big giant shit, right? I I don't know the effects of cocaine after you're listening to the Beaches, but it does sound about right. Oh, man, like I that. love the Beaches. Beaches are awesome. The Beaches. I, right. I heard I heard Patrick banging on you, Jose, about Mersbound. I got I gotta tell you. I think he's Mersbound is the only dude that's ever put out a 358. Or 360 CD box set that no one in their right mind could ever get through. Let's be honest. Uh, uh, I bet Jose I think, got through it. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you this. Look, uh, Mersbro is an incredible person, a great <laughs> human being. He, he is. Um, he doesn't do alcohol. He doesn't do uh, any animal products. He doesn't do. I think he should. Alcohol. No, and he's a great human being, and I'm really happy to work with him. He's always pushing the boundaries. There has to be a just a position every time there's type of music. The dialectic movement of music is always to push the envelope a little bit step forward. And some people are are all. So in. hang on a second. You just said that the, the, you need to push the envelope. Eddie Van Halen, as a guitar player completely push the envelope as a yeah, guitar but player. the music was the it's not as different from anything else uh, that's happening during that time so at least in my yeah it was are you are you kidding me i remember in 1978 actually opening that nobody record. nobody Everyone sounded like eddie what nobody fuck fucking that? striper sounds like that shit no well they didn't they, they copied what? it later but i mean that doesn't mean when it happened when the first album came out it was completely groundbreaking yeah, that I mean, when you hear Eruption for the first time, it's you know it's out there. I mean, Stanley Jordan was kind of doing some of that stuff, but it wasn't the metal like more of the heavy stuff. But back to Mersbau real fast. Um, I have his stuff with Boris, and I have one or two of his albums. But man, I find and I love experimental stuff like Andrew Lyles and Nurse with Wound and all kind of weird shit like that. But man, I struggle through Mersbau, man. It's just so out there. Well, you know what? I'll recommend you this one, not because I put it out, 
But uh, Miss you, you don't even is... you can't even name five Mersbow songs, Miss you. So what? You're just trying to cause shit. I know you. So there you go. <laughs> uh, no, but it, that it, that doesn't have anything to do. It's experimental music. You know, it, most people don't learn the 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 names of the song. But this is a drone record, and he produced it. And he only released it in France. And and all the records that I've uh, that I've shown so far that I released, they're all <laughs> completely different from one another. This is like uh, jazz samples that he used what, for this. What's period. your label? What's your label? What's your Aurora Central? What is it? Aurora Central. Aurora Central Records. Okay, I'll check it out because I like a lot of experimental shit. Yeah, I mean stuff like that... Lust, Lust Mord and you know Weird Drone, uh, uh, Trom. Well, listen, listen to this one uh, again. You can. It's on Bandcamp. You can stream it there, Ooh. and if you get to buy a copy, what's it called? Uh, uh, Vibra. Oh, channel. my my replacement label. I forgot about that because I I, right, I have like I'll, a shedding out of label. Them. <laughs> yeah, but, but again, this is a one of the uh, most different records he's ever released. It's very tame. It begins with a huge drone, and then it just zooms in. You know, and how did, and I how think, did Snoo allow you to buy those records? Well, that's I guess that's more in line with his work with uh Boris because Boris worked with him. Yeah, I don't movies. know if you heard there's uh there's a record Are we he talking has about the Manosphere now. The, yeah, a, uh, I, don't know about it. I don't know, he has but like I think jazz records as well. I don't know if you heard that. Now, no, I haven't actually. No, yeah, let me show you that. What is the yeah, Manosphere? Uh, 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 pajamas, right? Johnny L, do you know what the Manosphere is? I haven't got a clue. Yeah, I, I kind of do. I think it's like a bunch of dudes that get on a stream with a girl, a woman, and they just talk about how what it's like to be manly and cool yeah. and how to yeah, be you're misogynistic. And shit. This is a great fucking record with Boris. I have that one. Yep. This is beautiful. So, this is so hang on a second. I, I would say so. So Jose showing Boris and Mersbau records, and, and Rachel is showing ACDC records. Rachel, you win by a mile in my book, <laughs> and by a mile. So, yeah. This is free jazz. This is like free jazz. What's that one called? But, uh, it's like, oh, like, okay. it's like oh, Jim O'Rourke. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three, but this eight, is free two. jazz, and that's two double record, and it's really good. Do you like Andrew then, Lyles at all? Do you like? Do you know Lyles? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he's a friend of this mine. Is, yeah. But this is oh nice. Uh, this is really good. Do you have any more records you can show, Rachel, to counteract yeah. this? Uh, this uh, this is a Canadian first press. That's and not a good record. I, I used to get an ACD like for that's not a good record. Boss. I'll agree with Jose there. That is not a good record. <laughs> I love, I truly love all four songs that ACDC have written over 14 albums. They're awesome. Uh, I do. I like ACDC. Though. I really do. I, that's my favorite right there. Uh, no, but you know what? My, my problem with ACDC is like after Bon Scott, the lyrics got significantly less funny. Because she's yeah, got that's balls. That's little, really little, little less satire. Yeah. That, should be, that, that might be a, a lot of Rosie. That, does that say George? Does that say Porky or Pecco in the in the Dead Wax? What? Uh, I could look online. Rachel. Or, or, or George Perro is one of the two. Uh, yeah. Rachel, I don't, was I that was a. Home of Johnny Lampasses Jones. Was that a box set, Rachel, or was it all individual albums? They're individual albums. So well, they make a box for it. They make a, can you put them in the Queen box set and get rid of the Queen album? Stop it now. Let's, <laughs> hey, uh, hey. let's not be cruel to Queen. I love Queen. I just hate that box set. Yeah, uh, that's not, that. I don't. I don't. Why would you hate it? I don't. I think hatred's too strong a word. Because I paid <laughs> money for it and it sounds horrible. That sounds. I own right. it. Uh, I yeah. own it. I can bitch about it. I think. I think. What's all? Good. What's all in there, Pat? I'll enjoy it. Oh, it, it's like all the studio albums. Like every one up to like yeah. Made in Heaven, yeah, yeah, all of them. Oh man, those later albums, ooh, the Miracle. Well, a couple and of good ones. They have a couple good songs, but holy oh. friggin' hell, man! The front for me, the first five or six are where it's at. Well, Although yeah, I do I mean, love Innuendo. Innuendo is really, really good, man. Uh, it's, beautifully, it's beautifully presented. I'm the only motherfucker that likes uh, Made in Heaven, but I think that's a good record. Ugh, I struggle with that one, man. Oh, the worst that, one's man. The Miracle, though. With what's I want it all is like the only track. But, uh, the, oh, no, wow. the, the, the worst. The worst one is is freaking the the one with uh, oh, Hot Space. Hot Space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But Jose has, goes, that's my favorite. I bet probably Jose's but, favorite Hot Space. But Hot Space. I, has I, one I, of I just my, my no, my favorite is Jazz. Okay. I like Jazz a lot yeah, too. Jazz but, is a great record. 
The nice weird thing about Hot Space, space though, Patrick, is it has fucking Under Pressure on it. Maybe one of their best songs ever. I don't, I don't, re I don't really like Under Pressure that much. Really? I'm not, I'm not a huge. I mean, it's okay, wow. but if if I'm gonna pull out an AC, a, a Queen song to listen to, it's not gonna be Under Pressure. Well, no, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm a you Queen know, like Two they, guy. They people, the like the uh, what is it? The Flash soundtrack. There. Yeah, that, that's that's horrible. Yeah, that's a Flash, piece of shit. Uh, but I but I do like the but I do like the the Highlander and the and the Iron Eagle stuff. So yeah, I think the Highlander the one that has the Highlander has uh, who wants to live forever, right? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome track, man. Yeah, it's a beautiful ballad. Uh, and Freddie nice. Mercury had a had a great vocal. I mean, if I'm doing show, great, Trish. Uh, Thank you for asking. How are you, Trish? How was yeah, that's one of those bands, Rachel. If if you ever asked, here's a really great topic, Patrick, for a stream. Top ten like acts or artists or bands that you didn't get to see live that you wish you had. Yeah, but uh, Queen is uh, Queen, uh, Queen, Queen, Queen's one of them. Right Queen's up. one of them. Um, uh, uh, definitely uh, Van Halen. Van Halen, and then like WC and 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 uh, Rush Limbo. I've never. Got I like to see I like Bohemian. I like Bohemian Rhapsody because I like the riff when Brian May comes in. I have a the, I have a the, the riff, the guitar riff. You know, uh, great. I, great have a, I have a question for Patrick since nobody gives a fuck about that box. I said it like five times here. Nobody gave a Roger fuck. Roger Taylor. Patrick, I'm have you bought the, uh, the the new Black Sabbath box set that's coming come out? Like oh, the the George Martin era. The the Tony Martin. Tony Martin. Tony Martin era. Yeah, Tony Martin era. Yeah. No, I haven't bought it yet, but but I have I have all the records, the you originals. Do? Yeah. The Brazilian ones. No, no, no. I have, I have the UK, uh, except no, for the, except for Forbidden. I don't have Forbidden on vinyl. Yeah, Forbidden is, know. it's only came out in uh, Brazil. Yeah, I don't have the, I don't have Forbidden, but all the rest of them I have originals. So. You have, uh, what's the one with the wings? Uh, cross purposes. I have cross yeah, purposes. Cross purposes. I have tier. I have so, tier. Yeah. I have cross, yeah. cross purposes did come out in the UK, I think. Yes. That's a great sounding record. It's, it's a, I, it's, it's a highly underrated. Well, I like, the, well, I like the Tony Martin stuff. The box said, uh that's 100 bucks only uh they re he remix he remixed the record it's not remastered it's remixed all of them no just that one cross when is that out may okay. may something when's that coming yeah, out yeah yeah some of that but my I biggest mean, question, I, may, I may have to buy it just to have it because i mean my biggest I, question is why get it on cd, CD. I heard, well we talked about this last night because that, i think that was on uh that was on warner so, and the other rest of them were on irs yeah that's what it was yeah well, we, you know, I bought this from somebody that passed away and bond me when when I see that uh, thing, but I can't throw it away. You know, when you buy records from eBay and people put like somebody died. It I, just I sold a record at an auction where somebody had like so somebody wrote down things I got to do today: get out of bed, go find a job. He had like a checklist of things he had to do, accomplish oh, like wow. goals. It was pretty. It was pretty. Here's a hot take. I think the Ray Gillen demos for Eternal Idol are better than the Tony Martin's. Well, the Ray, Ray Ray Gillen, they have Ray Gillen doing a oh, what a, something else too for with Sabbath. Well, he, I mean, yeah, yeah, those, those demos are good. Those demos are good. I love. I mean, I mean, I I love Ray Gillen. I thought it's too bad he was a he couldn't keep in his pants. You know. Yeah, he was oh. kind of a, kind of a dick. Yeah. How iconic was Freddie Mercury as a singer and the po the posture with him? Mustafa, both, Mustafa, stand up. With the crown and uh, the whole bit, amazing guy. Don't stop me now. Is a, is a highly underrated song off the channel. I like I that, that song. What do you got there? Why, you got how is that shit underrated? It's like custom. very well known. Yeah, you got a custom. I, don't hear, I, I never heard it on the radio uh, until until really later, later, later. By later. Uh, Les Paul, Jerry Cantrell. Oh my God! Yeah, it, and it's uh, obviously it's like custom shop put that together because it's got no, 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 that's a, no, that no, it's not a custom shop. Yeah, Rachel, that, you got they, made, they made a hundred custom shops. Those are crazy expensive, way way out there. So wow, PRS, a good album right there. Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. Oh, uh, that's my favorite Sabbath, man. That's it's not that's deal. Great you know, a lot of people, a lot of people cite that as their uh, favorite. No, I don't think it's my favorite, but I really like it. But what I'll say is that they struggle so much to record this record in the sense that uh, Tony Omi says that he didn't have any a single riff for the mm. record. He didn't That's have my a favorite single... Sabbath album by far. Yeah, that, I mean, I like it a lot, but not, not my favorite. Because it's the first album that my parents threw away. 
Really? I always have, with Sabbath, I always have to separate it into the Aussie yeah. and and the the well, Dio years. But I always forget about Tony, or I'm sorry, yeah, uh, not Tony. What's Glenn his name? Hughes. Glenn Hughes. Don't forget about. Well, uh, there was Glenn did the one album, but what? Uh, shit, Tony Ian Martin. Ian Gillen. Ian Tony Gillen. Martin. Yeah, and then there's the Ian Gillen album, but I mean, um, I love him again. I wish they'd remix that one. Yeah, that yeah, thing yeah. has a lot of work. But it, you know what? But you, what's interesting is also that Black Sabbath on Instagram and Facebook and all that is not adver advertising the box set. Only Tony Iommi's uh, YouTube channel and page on Facebook well, and Instagram. Because, that's because well, 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 Bill, Bill because they fucking hate that shit. That's because like, of Sharon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Bill, Bill Ward was never involved. I mean, Geezer was on. Was Geezer on? Was like what, two or three of them, or was he on more? He was on three. Neil, was it no. Neil Murray? That was in no, but uh, uh, Geezer plays in uh, the Eternal Idol. Then he who did he come in for cross purposes, or was that Neil Murray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. I think he did. Oh, I tier? remember. I think it's that. Yeah. My, my favorite. My, th those my guys favorite came favorite. in and out. It was weird. This is my favorite Black Sabbath. Yeah, Master Real. Great album, man. Great yes, album. This is like doom metal. Like, this is for real. Like, that's this the is first. Like yeah, metal. that's probably one of the very first doom metal albums. Yeah. Yeah, this is. And and the thing about, like, the light, the light that I love about Black Sabbath is that they were not afraid about doing slow songs and doing, like, uh, faster shit, but. They were not afraid I mean, of the Planet Caravan wasn't a fast song. Well, there's like, a, lot of, changes. a lot of melody. no, no, I know, but what I mean is like they they had a lot of ballads, a lot of the choir songs. They have yeah, changes. Like, uh, but they're moody, but they're atmospheric. Well, dude. Point, right? They're very atmospheric. Yeah, so I I think I he think it's a little. I think Jose, do you know? Uh, do you know Solitude Eternus? Uh, what, no, what is that? I do. It's, I should do lunch with them. You should check them out if you love that early Sabbath and you love that Doomy Sabbath. They're they're an homage to Doomy Sabbath. With they like sleep. Well, nah. no, actually, actually, Jose does know Solitude Eternus because he was at the Austin show and he talked to John to John at the at the show. So, so well, John, John Perez, Perez was there. Perez was there. Oh, yeah, yeah John, John sells at those shows all the time. They oh, fucking sell their bootleg T-shirts and records and yeah. Oh fuck, I didn't know that, man. I want to have him on my show, man. I just I'm had uh, uh, Robert, 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 Robert Lowe on. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, this is really interesting about Jeff's channel. Well, let's do a promo for Jeff. Uh, Jeff's a metal guy, and he's <laughs> the beauty about Jeff's channel is that he's had the great privilege to talk to so many name players in that genre, even a couple of cats that I, I've heard of, and I'm not metal. I mean, I have some great metal albums in my collection. I got Candle Mass, St. Vitus. Uh, I'm, you know, working on a candle, I'm working on a candle mask guy, a big one. So that's so. That's so okay. so Saint Vitus, the other Henry, the guy, the drummer of Saint Vitus, is business partners with John in the record store in Fort Worth, and they go to Austin oh, and sell their stuff. And so, yeah, yeah, there you go. So if you go I to had Austin, no idea you can about see that. The drummer for Saint Vitus and the guitar player for Solitude Eternus. So. What's the name of the store? The record store? Do you know? Oh, fuck. born late, born fucking two, something like something like that. I, I can find it for you. No, no, Josie's in. Josie's a different guy. These guys are in Fort Worth. Um, you know, Josie's had the best records uh, last time on Austin. So, so, um, so okay, Rachel, Rachel, I want, I want to say something about Jeff real quick. Yeah, go. don't fucking ruin him like you ruined everybody else I bring to this stream, okay? So do no, not fucking ruin right. Jeff, okay? Uh, okay? Give me an example of somebody I ruined. I want to Thor. know. Thor. Thor. Now what's yeah. wrong with Thor? Thor's not ruined. You came here, your stream fucking tore him down and was mean to him. What? So, what? Well, hold on, hold on. Let me let me just say one thing. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> people can Pat. You've been around me enough now at this point yeah. to kind of know me pretty well. People can come at me all they want, and you know what, man? Fuck off. I don't take shit. I don't deal with shit. You want to yeah. come at me? I'll, I'm well, I'm ready to roll. So yes, yeah. I I don't I don't know I don't know Jeff. Uh, I just met him and he he looked. But you know what I like is that he knows. Uh, Experimental stuff and all that. It's good to know Jeff, more than Jeff, one. Jeff is all about music, man. So, see, so, so here's the thing, matter. Rachel. You do qualify me as metal, and my show is it's eighty percent metal. But there's a lot of weird shit. Like I've interviewed some experimental. Did a deep dive of Jethro Tull for like a day. So it felt no, like it was like it was four, it was three parts, Patrick. It was three parts. You 
you bailed on parts two and three. I get why. Yeah, but I, I couldn't do it. We did about we did about a twelve hour deep dive on the entire Jethro Tull catalog. So I'm also yeah. a prog a. nerd. I love prog. A, a, a was in there a. too for sure. Yeah, a, a, I, I, I love. I love. I love, a. A. I love I, that. I album. think A is great. Stormwatch killer yeah. album. Somewhere, yep. Yeah. That's my favorite. Heavy horses, right there. Well, uh, actually, my, so, songs from the woods is my favorite. So. The first, the first. Oh, there's a. The I have all the yep. tool record is super underrated. It's that's it a, sounds like King Gizzard. That, that package this, right this there. Was, this this was, was a blues album. They had they had that's a great album. Abrams was a guitar player, and then they got rid of him, and then they got in. Yep. Uh, Martin Barr. Have you seen that video of Tony Omi's playing with Yetro Tool and the? Yeah, I, I saw it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. It lasted about three weeks, I think. Yeah, uh, he said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Broad you know, I, 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 never, I don't like broadsword the bees. I thought it just sounds I weird. Thought, I, I, I do. I love that '80s sound. But that that particular box set right there, the 40th anniversary. That's an eight disc set, man. That is a killer deal. You can find it on Broad Amazon. Broadsword the like, bees sounds like a Hobbit record. For sure. It is. It kind of is. It was. They were getting into the synths. They were getting into the synths. It's the well, album need, after I, that. Pat, I need to get to work, but but I want I want to say that my takeaway for today is is that yeah. Jose tried to sing, fucking <laughs> baby, it's a wild world, and ended up with baby, I love your way by yeah. by Peter Frampton. Ooh, <laughs> baby, baby it's a wild I love world. your way. <laughs> that was a that was a highlight of the morning for me. Was that moment right there? That I missed it. I must have been. That, must that was absolutely that. classic, Jose. That was great. <laughs> Also, with the, uh, I just want to do a shout out also to Broadcat. Uh, Broadcat was the one that uh, first showed Don't those Jeffro Tull box sets. I fell in love with them. CD, DVD combos. They're an incredible set. Steve Wilson remixes, beautifully put together. Love it. Uh, they're available. The originals, the ones that are out of print, are going for yeah, 200 bucks plus. USD. They aren't oh. cheap. Hang on cool. one sec on that, Rage. They yeah. just. They just reissued uh, "Thick as a Brick," uh, "Benefit," Got those. and they're and they re and they just reissued uh, "Minstrel in the Gallery," which was going for way big. The only ones I know they have the one big one they haven't is "Songs from the Wood." That's the one that's out of print and hard to find. So there you go, eight track. Oh wow! Look oh, at that thing! Holy track. shit! Holy yeah. shit! Is that a boot? Is that a boot? Oh, it's a, this is a Mexican uh, uh, eight track. Oh fuck, man! That's, I've never it's seen not that. On, it's not on Discogs, but I it used to have the the box, but I, I lost it. Harry likes that Frampton Comes album. That Frampton Comes. That's a it's a messy kind of album, though, isn't it, Harry? What, uh, why, what do you mean? Uh, Songs from the Wood was reissue. I have the reissue. Not the. What yeah. do you mean? They reissued it like not that long ago. No, not the box set. Not the book. No. A lot of oh, people, a lot of people don't like Frampton Comes Alive. I don't know why. It's a, it was a great album, album back in the day. Yeah, that was a you pivotal know? album for me as a ten-year-old to pick up a guitar. Yeah, that's why I, wanted, stuff, like, why I wanted one of these, man. I, I had to have one. Oh, of those. What kind of guitar is that? What kind of guitar is that you have there, Jeff? It's a, a Les Paul, Jerry oh, Cantrell nice. from Alice in Chains. Wow, the signature model. Wow, nice. I got a bunch of them, man. I got. I don't know, yeah. seven or eight guitars Those Les Pauls here. are pretty heavy, though, eh? They're, they're that really that one is, yeah. I have probably nine pounds, somewhere in that range. But <laughs> yeah, I, I'm almost sure that the the only one of the book box sets is Passion Play. Actually, that wasn't reissued, which I really like Passion Play. A lot of people think it's a weird yeah. album, but I get it. Um, and uh, Songs from the Wood. Oh, okay. So songs was repressed then, man. That must be very recent then in the last month or two. Okay. Where, where can you pick these? Cause I'm on Amazon. I don't see uh, any of these new reissues. You can get them at burning shed. I know you can get them at burning shed. Okay. That's now, what, uh, burning shed an independent. What, yeah. What, it's, uh, do you know, do you know who Tim Boness is? No, it's it's Steve Wilson's partner in the band oh. No Man. Okay, so it's uh, his his distro, and they they do you can find really really cool weird stuff, particularly in Prague that you won't find anywhere else. So oh yeah, some of the UK's got stuff, but I mean because of the uh, region limitations, right? Yeah. So Jose, I was actually talking about the book box, the ones that yeah. No, I, I heard you. I just I yeah. just went overdrive because I, I couldn't find it. Yeah. 
But actually, somebody, Zeb, said in the chat that they did reissue Songs from the Woods. So I, I'm wrong. I apologize. I yeah. don't think Passion Play was reissued yet, though. I'm almost sure of it. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like this remix. I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah, people are looking for those. You can definitely find them on um, – you, Rach, did you say Amazon doesn't have, like, Minstrel in the Gallery or yeah. – No, it doesn't have uh, – or a song uh, – Maybe they didn't get out there yet. Hey, so, hey, Jeff, this is a good one. Hey, man. This is a good box set, this one. Here, here's that Frampton Comes album. What the hell? It's an album or just a single? It's an album. It's from Taiwan. Wow. They always get the, They always get the text wrong. <laughs> Show me the way. Yeah. Good thing they Show spelled. Me the thing comes. Show me the yeah, way. I was going to say, it's a good thing they spelled comes Ooh, right. Though. Baby, show me the way. <laughs> yeah, right, eh? what, uh, what's on there, Harry, out of curiosity? It's the whole album. Well, oh, it's, it's, whole... One al it's one album of the double album. But I okay. had to buy it just for the cover. Oh, That's man. Just, yeah, yeah they, stole the, they stole the pictures out of the actual real album. You know, like I think the warm pressings are cool. The, the oh, best. Oh, yeah. that's an OG. Yeah, yeah. There's the some, best. Like yet Carol cool Smith song. and it's the Whistler. Death Row. I love the Whistler. I think it's great. I think the reverb, the the gated reverb on this record really shines on this mix. I so you listen. got them all, Rich. You got all of them. I got yeah. a lot. Of, got I got all a lot. Of them, of yeah. Them. Holy cow! Oh, I got that. You one have the you have the nineties. Uh, uh, Yetra tool. No, I got these are all just saying stand up huh. this OG. With hey, but where's the first one, Rachel? Is that stand is that the stand up that you open it up and the, yeah. the guy stand up? Okay. Yeah. And uh, this is also Where? Steve Wilson also did it in that set of boxes that I showed. And of course it all starts with this one. I'm not sure stand up was reissued either. I'm not yeah, there no, you go. Zeb, is, yeah. with the Zeb, uh, Zeb put up a link to Burning Shed right there. No, I don't know yeah, but Zeb, hold on. Those are you those are UK um, exclusive. What I'm trying to say is they're region specific for the DVD portion. So you no, it, no, it's not UK, it's it's worldwide, Rage. It's worldwide. All right. All yeah, right. yeah. That I know for a fact. They're the the five dot one DVDs and the actual um, uh, it's all NTSC. You can view it on your U.S. stuff. So. Okay, yeah, that's important because I got uh, that U.S. standard for it, folks. If you're just joining us, we're running a little late today. We're having some fun. Um, uh, hit the thing. Give us a thumbs up. It does help out. Thank you, uh, Zeb, for that. For helping. One other us. one other quick note on. Um, on the uh, one other quick note, I believe on the and maybe this guy's a prog hat, so he might know for sure. Steve Wilson didn't do every single one of these. There's one that Jaco Jack Jacksick did, and I can't remember which one it is. I wanna I wanna say it was oh fuck man, I can't remember which one. Zeb will probably know, but he did the one five dot one mix and remix of the whole album. But well, all the other of, 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 of Jeff Rotel. I'm sorry? Of Jeff Rotel? Yeah. Jocko oh, did one of them. And I want to say it was freaking... Oh, man. Why am I blanking here, man? Uh, Where do you get to from my knowledge, they've all been done by Stephen Wilson. Uh, that's not that's not the case. There's one done by Jocko. I got a... Fuck, I can't remember who the hell... Which one it was. Zeb, help me out, man. What was the one that... Um, Jocko did the Minstrel Live stuff. Okay, there you go. Thank you. The so he, did, okay. he did the studio, but the live re, re issuing and the the 5.1 mastering was done by uh, Jocko from King Crimson. I'm, I'm just that, that, say that, that's uh, the one I need in my collection that they reissued, Ministro in the Gallery. The other one I believe they reissued was War Child. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That was out of print for a while, too. What's that? Is that your, is that your uh, mansion there, Harry? That's our deck. We're pressure washing the deck. As oh, look at you, man. That that's where funny. Harry Fest is going to be. Oh. Harry that's Fest. First shot, first explosive photo for Harry Fest. Ah, uh, dude. Hang on, I'll show you something. Hold on. I'm oh, going to yeah. say that this is a really good record. Yeah, I got that one. I got, OG. I got an OG of that. Thank you, Eddie. I prefer Marlboro. God you damn do? it. Oh, you know, I always spoke. Uh, I just dropped my fucking camel box set and put a huge dent in it. 
Oh, oh, wow. that's huge then. Oh, God, man. Fell on my guitar, God damn it. This was... Oh, sorry. This is are okay, though. <laughs> what is that, 500? That's an awesome box set. So this is uh 32 discs, 28 wow. yeah. CDs, and four Blu-rays. And I'm only at disc nine in this thing. But now, wow. man, I want to cry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jeff. God, what a drag. Oh, yeah. It's your fault, Harry. Happened. But it's 32 disc. Whoa, I didn't know it was that many. Yeah, it's 32. It has um, I love this one. A hard shell book. Okay. And then it's got these my I don't love these things, but I get why they do it. But it's got these little folders then with individual oh, yeah. no. CDs. Yeah. And these oh, are the, the these ones here are wait right here. These are the Blu-rays that are in here. And there's like there's like so much shit on the Blu-rays. I don't know when I'll ever get. To you know it. what? Have you seen the camel live at a uh, Royal Albert Hall? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I have that. I have that box set too. Yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, Edward's got. It. I'm a I love this box set. Yeah. It's got that rainbow. It's, it's got a lot of great live stuff. Man, I wish I could go back 15 minutes in time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just. So this sorry. is a great and cheap. Does anyone album? have the Camel Toe album? Oh my that god. That does have the camel toe, which yeah, oddly, it's kindless. oddly, Harry, that camel toe album is probably my favorite album by them. You know, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I don't know if anybody here is knows about this bass, but this bass is fucking sweet as fuck. It's an eight string. Is that wet? Uh, so, so it's a bass, but it has double strings. It's like is it double. a stereo bass? It is. Yeah, yeah. That's hey, who why, is that? Yeah. Is that Wedden? Who is that? What? No, it's the Greg Lake. Oh, Greg Lake. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't see the title. You moved. But, it to... uh, I don't know if uh, anybody here is a uh, fan of uh, what is it? Lake uh, and Palmer. Emerson Rachel Lake and Dan Palmer. Had... Uh, Surrender. Who sings Surrender, Rachel? Uh, cheap, cheap Trick. trick. Uh, By the way, Harry, that the production on that. Yeah, the production on these. The production on that album. Yeah. Slightly hairy. Just slightly hairy. <laughs> yeah, Sabbath uh, treatment. There you yep, go. I got that one. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, a malign well, album. On vinyl. I have I it on love vinyl. It. You know, I've never I heard it. Camel. I have never heard anything. Oh, uh, dude, man, you should, you should no, check out. Real, uh, I think, I think this one is a good. Uh, yeah, that'd be a good starting point right there. Yep. Okay. Or, or Mirage. Mirage is killer Mirage, too. Yeah. I, do you like Prague at all, Harry? Are you a Prague guy? You don't want singing. Oh, you love. Singing. You'll love it. You'll love it. Great guitar. You don't like singing. That's a great one too. The, the what goose. about the Soft Heart. Machine? Is Soft Machine worth picking up? Of course. What the fuck? Of course, it's, Harry. Yeah. Yes, Harry. What is this shit? Yes. I, Seriously, Harry. you like that? I think you, you would. Harry, I just passed on a Soft for. Machine Seven. I should have picked it up for like. Oh, five seven? Bucks. That's the best. Get, uh, one of the best yeah. uh, Soft Machine. It's Harry, funny. another recommendation? Soft Machine Third. Soft Machine yep. Third has uh, uh, Bloody Outrageous, Bloody, or some track like that is awesome. No, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, people that want to get into Soft Machine do not listen to the third record first. It's very much the most one of the most difficult ones to listen to. Not that it is difficult, but uh, I think Seven... It's so beautiful. Beginning from the second track, you can skip the first one, but I think it's so beautiful. And then the first one and the second one are like psychedelic ones. So if you like the early Pink Floyd stuff, mm -hmm. I can't remember which albums are uh, Holdsworth on. That's a little later, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a little uh, bit later. That's like uh, oh, fourth and fifth or with the little man on the cover. Yeah, he's yeah. on that album. bundle. Bob bundle. Yes, Harry. Do you know any gong? Do you have any gong? No, yeah. I'm not oh, real man. deep into Prague. But I have, you, you know, should check out real, Gong. Real, real, oh, 50 oh, albums, the, maybe. The live album by Gong is fucking amazing with Steve Hillage, Pierre Morlan. Oh, you mean uh, um, this one? Yeah, it's the gray one. No, the other one. The first one. Oh. Man, Rach, Rach is blasting out the camel. Everybody, everybody's yeah. blasting the camel out. Welcome if you got them. This this one, I think this is very pretty, and and I would suggest everybody. <laughs> I love that. Thanks, early Pink Floyd to listen to it because it's very eye opening, third eye opening. 
Yeah, it's Very cool. Pretty. Harry, you like you like to partake of the of the herbs, so you'll really enjoy that kind of thing right there. It'll yeah, it'll Harry would be a great I don't think Harry might like that. If if not, I'll buy it back from him. <laughs> oh, sure. There you go. But this okay. is this is as good as a live record gets. That's a great album, man. Live. Um, I need to get that, that one. Yeah. A Angels Angels Egg is killer too, man. That's also, all that stuff. This, get this one. This is really chip from record store day. Nobody, a lot of people didn't buy it, but. Live in Sheffield, Gong Record. It's oh man, Love Forever Change is one of my top three fucking albums of all time, man. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Love that album. Holy Rachel. Fuck. Yeah, I was gonna say thanks for having me on here real quick. I gotta drop off, but everybody have a great, wonderful week. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> yeah, later, see you. See hey, bye. you guys Rachel, heard this one? What's that one? Rainbow. Rainbow. Rainbow? This is good. Oh, great. Yeah, that's the Swedish band. Or no, Swiss band, right? Yeah, that is very good. I picked this up as a blind buy, and yeah, I like it. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of Brain Ticket. I don't actually know that, Brain Box. I'll have to check that one out. That's, <laughs> isn't that kind of Crow Rocky? Crow no, Rocky? Is, <laughs> Rach, I'm, Rachel's I'm, like, I'm, let me get the fuck out of here. It's time I'm to like, yeah, yeah, because you see I'm, you see these artists that are on it, the names, yeah. Oh, Jan Ackerman, hell yeah. 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 Oh, Boy, fuck I'm, yeah, that's, I, I gotta grab that. I gotta grab. That. Am I ever? Am I ever out of my league? I'm thinking. I'm here. I'm thinking in my head. Do up, do up, do up. Yeah, <laughs> you guys. You guys are naming these. You know what, Johnny? You guys are naming that these groups that like made your brain crap. melt. That's pretty. Hey, you real quick on that, and then Rach, we'll get you out of here real quick though. Um. I don't know. Oh, yeah. This is the weirdest thing. I went to look at my local show, which would be for that beat tour, which is Tony Levin, Steve Vai, Adrian Ballou, and um, Danny Carey doing all the Discipline Era stuff. Yeah. There were four tickets left for the Keswick Theater because I live kind of near Philly. The, the two prices of the two tickets, one was in the pit and one was on the fr first row. Anyone want to take a wild guess how much the tickets were? Uh, $275. $275. 200 cheap. Five hundred dollars for the front road seat. The pit <laughs> ticket was eight hundred and ninety nine dollars. Wow. Oh no! I'm like, you Boy, know what? I really don't need. To, I don't. I'm not lying. It was not a resale. It was yeah. the, oh, the actual. Bench. I love. I love this record, but it's not even a top five for me. Mm -hmm. In crimson? No, no, no. Like in the crimson sphere. Wow! Hey, I gotta Give, go, me top five quick. Wow. Give me the top five quick. From their discography. Top uh, five quick. I, I love I love lizard. I love this piece of shit. But my my favorite crimson is Thrak for whatever reason. Thrak. Thrak. Yeah, I oh, love Thrak. Dude, that album is fucking <laughs> weird, man. <laughs> but it's yeah, it's the like the tool era. Dinosaur I hate. That's a horrible song. My favorite's red. Red and Lark's tongue and then oh, uh, I mean the red, debut. red of course. And I used to have that uh, live in Toronto box set, but I sold it. Right. Rachel, 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 Rachel you'll never be able to Rachel get out here. Rachel 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 Rachel. Yeah, always want to be respectful to your guests. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, right. yeah. I got, I got that one. I got that one. Yeah. Danny Tung and Aspic. Hey, folks, uh, we love you all. Thanks for being here for today. Give us a thumbs up. It really does help. And we'll be back tomorrow. We'll do it all over again for three more hours. Jeff. Look after yourself. Let's, uh, you know, we're keeping you in my. Uh, my yeah, I'll, I'll let you know privately what's going on. There's some right, pretty bad you. shit going on. All right. Well, let's uh, let's hope for some good news in that area. Uh, the Triffid Nebula. Uh, Jose, thank you so much. Johnny, you rock. Thanks to uh, so yeah. and Rob earlier and Paracat and all the gang. Harry, we'll be back tomorrow. Thumbs up this thing. That means everything. Thanks. Peace Bye. out.